Let's dive into all of this right Welcome to another episode of the Market Value Chart Show, right here, baby, at Six Scale Cantina. Are you kidding me? Listen, I had to change my whole schedule for this evening and tonight because this was the moment I was waiting for. This was the drop that I have been waiting for. It was the moment to relive it again. Hot Toys is just letting me relive this again, baby. Oh my goodness gracious. The amount of, the amount, (laughs) look, man, I am, can you tell? I'm a little excited. I had to be very, very careful with my coffee here this morning. Are you kidding me? Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Listen, uh, welcome everybody that's in here. Right off the bat of this kind of impromptu, live and raw, Aries is live and raw. Are you kidding me with this? Look, I've got so, so, so much to say about this. And listen, for the most part, because I have been crushed all day, baby. I have been crushed all day. I'm going to be kind of, you know, digging into this right now with all of you, to be quite honest with you. But man, this is just so, so flipping exciting. Because as I was saying in some streams before, Hot Toys is releasing moments. And this is a moment. This is a moment, ladies and gentlemen. This is a moment, boys and girls. But listen, what's going on, everybody? Welcome to Aries is Live and Raw on a Monday evening. Wow. I'm going to put some of these up over here. Uh, Hi, Aries, from Lots of Toys to See. Already ordered the Deluxe Special Edition. Must have for the collection. Are you kidding me? Yeah. Joe P. Boom. Goes the dynamite, baby. Listen. Oh, man. Oh, man. Listen, wow. Let's keep going over here. <clears throat> from Paul Howe, top of the morning from Taiwan. Welcome. Welcome in the cantina. This, us as coffee spilling summer indeed. Sure, sure enough, they did. Hot Toys did. And listen, I was mentioning right during Sideshow Con, if you saw one of my banners that were not done yet, and I said that this was going to be coming within a week or two, and look at this. <clears throat> wow, wow, wow. MTEL, Frog Lady next. <laughs> Listen, they could give me Frog Lady. They could give me all the characters now in The Mandalorian. I could care less. Bring it on. I'd probably be more excited now than I would be, um, you know, if they didn't release this. This is the, this is the character. This is the moment. I'm looking for, man, oh, man, oh, man, just flipping through all these. Look at this super chat already from Iowa Joseph, $1.99. Thank you so much for the $2 bomb. This is the Luke I was looking for. I'm going to get into that because it certainly was the Luke I was looking for as well, my friend. It absolutely was. Thank you so much for dropping that. We're going to get into that. Just a little bit. Appreciate that $1.99 super chat. Already 81 in here. It Aries is live and raw. Wow. I have a lot of thoughts about this particular figure, but thank you so much for dropping that. Really appreciate that. Rija, much, much appreciated. And going through everyone in here, <clears throat> putting this up as well. Lane Kramer, I see someone could not hold up his excitement for this. Listen. 
Wow, Lane, I wasn't expecting you to drop on till later, but welcome, my friend. Putting this up on the screen, Devin, we needed this today. Let's go. Wow. Look at all the excitement in here. KG, KG Collector. KG was just on the paddle show yesterday, day one pre-order. You ain't kidding, baby. You are not kidding. <clears throat> the Big Daddy 64. I'm going to go into a coffee coma. <laughs> Man, let's savor this moment, boys and girls. Mm. Wow, wow, wow. Wow, wow. Alex Lynch, the moment. The moment. You're not kidding. <clears throat> star killer, star killer in the house. Coffee spilling, Mando Luke Skywalker, epic moment. You're hitting it. You're all hitting it on the head. Epic moment. Hot Toys has been giving us epic moments. These are the type of releases that I want as a Hot Toys collector and a Star Wars freakazoid fanatic like I am. Wow. Joe Fuzz, boom. You ain't kidding. Boom, baby. <clears throat> Let's keep going up over here. <laughs> wow, look at some of these. Look at some of these. Lots of toys to see. I think I already put this up, but yeah, come on. J-Rex Entertainment choked out of my coffee. Look, I think a lot of people were spitting up whatever they were drinking um, or eating this morning because this was just, like, shocking. Mm -mm -mm. Mm. Wow. I've never pre-ordered something so fast, goes Doc Smizel. Listen. Listen, baby. Wow. I feel you. I feel you. This is this is the figure. This is the drop. Um. <clears throat> Darth Silius, glad you haven't drowned in your coffee. I'm right here, baby. I'm right here. I'm right here. Mm. Wow. Alien Queen, the coffee got spilled. Wow. Reximum Rex is asking, did you know if it was coming last night? Look, I actually didn't know if this was coming last night, but I was actually really surprised this didn't drop at the end of Sideshow Con. I mean, it, it kind of makes sense that they would wait for like San Diego Comic Con or some type of thing like this. But listen, Hot Toys has no rhyme or reason for for what they do, Reximum Rex. But there is a reason. When you have all those reveals or all those teases like they had at Sideshow Con last week or whenever it was now, this had to be coming at any second. At any minute, at any hour, baby. Are you kidding me? Silver, Dilver, great to be here. Great to have you in here. <laughs> Ramon, I'm covered by coffee. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, my goodness gracious. Um, <clears throat> Thrawn, Thrawn's in the house too. Who else spilled their coffee this morning? Oh, my goodness gracious. Wow. Wow. Uh, <clears throat> Joe Fuzz one. We got it, Aries. It is better than I dreamed. It is. It is. We're going to get read. Look, I'm, I'm trying to acknowledge all of you and just savor the moment before we dive into all the particulars of this release and the nuances and, and all the R&D and all the who cares. I don't mean to say who cares. I'm just, I'm just pumped up, baby. How many of you are pumped up about this release today? Come on. And I know that you're probably, even if you're not getting some of those other figures from The Mandalorian or from anything, you know, that they teased during the uh, Sideshow Con, it does make you kind of a little bit more interested, right? Because you got the big shebang right here. You've got the, come on, come on. <clears throat> Again, hopefully we'll get R2 this week. Yeah, hopefully we will. Hopefully we will. We'll talk about that. We will definitely talk about that. The collector number one, Luke Mando, baby, let's go. I'm pumped and spilled so much coffee this morning. It's a great day today. And let me tell you something, the collector number one and everyone out there. If you are a Star Wars humongous fan like me, this is a great day. This is definitely a great day if you collect Hot Toys. <clears throat> wow, 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 wow. Just going through a lot of this stuff over here. Goodness gracious. Pull this up from Lewis Martin. Let's go, people. Curious if Aries will be wearing a wetsuit. <laughs> Already changed out of 10 of them. Already changed out of 10 of them. So, goodness gracious. I might take another dive later. I might take another dive later, baby. Let me go through some of this stuff over here. 
goodness gracious. <clears throat> Darth City, it's already pre-ordered. <clears throat> wow. Eric Henke says, R2-D2 Deluxe Pack with Grogu. We're going to talk about that. <laughs> Rex Mabrex, Vespin Luke now, please. Now, hold your horses. Hold your horses. Come on. Vespin Luke. Hoff Luke, baby. Hoff Luke and Tauntaun. Yeah, come on. All bets are off now. <clears throat> Be real. Love that it comes with a dark trooper, too. You are not kidding. Look, the beginning of this show is just kind of like soaking it all in, right? My goodness gracious. I, I was absolutely so stunned and happy to see that it came with the Dark Trooper. And some of these poses in the promotional uh, uh, pictures that Hot Toys put out, man, ooh, this is going to be a fun figure, baby. <clears throat> wow, wow, wow. Goodness gracious. J-Rex, uh, 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 Vespid Luke is definitely next. We'll see. Vespid Luke, Hoff Luke, Eddie Luke. Bad Boy Productions, contemplating getting two. I wonder how many are actually going to be doing that. Um, it's an outstanding looking figure. <clears throat> My goodness. It's Popsick in the house. Already day one pre-ordered with comic concepts. 98 watching. Please go ahead and hit that like button. Thank you all so much. It really helps the video. And let's let Hot Toys and Howard Chan know how much we appreciate that we didn't have to wait till next year or the beginning of the Mandalorian season three or till the end of the book of Boba Fett, which would have made no sense because everybody's going to be into the book of Boba Fett by then. Uh, but yeah, like the video and uh, subscribe too. If you're, if, if you're in here for the first time and you've never subscribed to Six Scale Cantita, subscribe. Subscribe, baby. Appreciate it. Slim Rummy. Got my coffee ready. <laughs> if I have any more coffee, I may just <laughs> I may just go through the roof. I may become like one of the superhero heroes. I mean, I'm, I might actually join the Avengers because, you know, the caffeine got so strong that I just burst it out of myself. <clears throat> Goodness gracious. Put this up here. Griffin Campbell, use up my rewards points for this release. I haven't pre-ordered anything in a long time. Look, there's a lot of comments and a lot of things that I'm seeing about that today where someone else just said, hey, I don't usually pre day one pre-order, but I, I just did. And you see Griffin over here that, you know, he hasn't pre-ordered in a long time. This is the type of release. This is the type of legacy character. This is the type of, of, of moment that makes you jump out of your seat. That makes you jump out of bed. That makes you go put a big smile on your face. I know a lot of you have a big smile on your face right now. And it's probably not just because I'm smiling. And it's not just because of the figure. And it's not just because it's Luke. It's really because of John Favreau and Dave Filoni. Let's all be honest. Because we all jumped out of our seat, or many of us anyway, when we saw the season finale of The Mandalorian Season 2. And Luke showed up before our eyes. And here it is, Hot Toys releasing a figure that is capturing that moment. Yeah, 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 yeah. <clears throat> Popsick, glad to tune in. Currently stuck at a conference call, but I can't miss the live and raw. Let's go, baby. Over 100 in here already, 101. Thank you all so much for watching. It is absolutely crazy. Oh, look, we got the man of hot collectibles in the house. Dante, what is going on, my friend? Oh, my goodness gracious. This is such a uh, um, attack, attack Peter, day one pre-order. You're not kidding. Mm -mm -mm. We'll see. My gosh. You ain't kidding, Will. My gosh, my gosh, my gosh. Mm -mm -mm. We'll see again. Aries, yes. Wow. Just going through a lot of this in here. Hi, man of hot collectibles, too. So you're saying hi to everyone in there. <laughs> I burned my tongue on this one, Aries. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Um, I, I, just going through all of these. Yeah, this is a very good point, Space Space Productions. I might need more than two Dark Troopers now. And you bring up an excellent point. How much, and we're going to get into it a little bit later in the show, is this figure going to catapult the sales of the Dark Trooper? What do you guys think? Let me know in the chat. Uh, if you weren't going to get a Dark Trooper, are you going to get one now? I'll be honest with you, I wasn't getting a Dark Trooper. And I still may be fine with the crushed one here. But I'm actually thinking about, you know what, I may need to get one now, put him behind Luke. Maybe, I, I don't know. 
I don't know. But I would venture to guess that some collectors, and maybe many collectors, are going to go ahead and get some dark troopers where they, they, they weren't going to. Remember what I always said? I got to take another sip, baby. Mm. The dark troopers will sell much more with a Luke Skywalker than they would with Moff Gideon. I think you're going to see that be the case. We're going to have to keep an eye on it. But goodness gracious, this is absolutely unreal. Um, <clears throat> yeah, it is crashing. You know, I've been trying to pull up the deluxe version of Luke Skywalker on Sideshow for the last hour. I get the non deluxe version, but every time I try to pull up this that that page, if that's what you're talking about, Eric, um, yeah, I'm not getting it. It shows you. How, is that going to be the number one pre order? You have to wonder, is it possible that this Luke Skywalker from The Mandalorian Season 2 that was made possible by you know, John Favreau and Dave Filoni is going to be the number one pre-order, best-selling-wise? Come on. You need me to say? And I say yes? Come on. It's already crashing. You're talking about breaking the internet. <clears throat> Alien Queen, I definitely need another Grogu for my collection. <laughs> well, you're, you're getting it, baby. <laughs> we got Mickey Mouse all over the place. Listen, I love Mickey Mouse. I love Grogu. 110 in here. Thank you so much for joining this impromptu. This, um, you know, this, listen, I, ha I had to rearrange my schedule. So I said at the beginning of the show for a lot of you that were late, this is a release that is schedule changed. And on Monday nights, I usually don't do anything like this. But for this figure and this release, come on. I have to hang out with you all about this. Come on. <clears throat> Some rummy again with that. Going down a lot of these here. <clears throat> wow. Wow, wow, wow. Looking through so much of this. <laughs> Fabio, what about that DX call? Listen, you know, Fabio was actually uh, um, last night on the show talking about that, you know, that he thought that this needed to come in DX packaging. There it is, baby. There it is. Come on. Mm -mm -mm. Wow. <sighs> yes, Slim Robbie. Uh Try comic concepts, but I meant to put this one up. Emergency broadcast. <laughs> You're not kidding. 116. And Aries is live and raw on a Monday evening. Salute to you all. I don't always drink coffee out. But when I do, I do it from a six-scale cantina. And listen, I'm thirsty, my friends. This is just the beginning. Mm. So, you know. Talk about the most interesting wizard in the world. I think this is the most interesting Hot Toys release in the world, perhaps. Wow, wow, wow. I am absolutely over the moon about this figure. <laughs> Welcome everybody in. Let's take a look. Let's take a closer look. Wow. Wow, just look. Just look at that head sculpt. And the thing that... <clears throat> yeah, I love that they included the movable eyes feature. I really do love that they included the, the movable eyes feature. They captured this, in my opinion. This is my opinion right now, guys. This is almost exactly the way he looks in the season finale of The Mandalorian. And regardless of if you thought the CGI was cheesy or if the CGI wasn't cheesy, I appreciated what Filoni and Favreau did. And in a way, just like the original, some of the original from A New Hope or, you know, old from the 70s and some of that stuff is like, eh, I, I almost kind of liked it as weird as it sounded. Um, just the way they did it. I actually think that the figure not only matches what, what they tried to do CGI wise in, in the finale, what Floaty and Favreau did. I actually think the Hot Toys version is better. Just from look, like I said, I'm just diving into this now, I'm giving you my opinion. I mean, I almost think I think this is not only matching exactly what what, what they gave us, but this this thing here, boys and girls, this thing is better. It looks better to me than the uh, that 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 even the CGI. They should just put this figure in the uh, it has a rolling eyes function. Have someone there, maybe a remote control, moving eyes, and be like. Uh, you know, may the force be with you <laughs> and kind of look this. Oh, my goodness gracious. Um, I love it that they gave us the rolling eyes function. And remember, now let me ask Dante. He's in here. Dante or somebody in the chat. It, it looks like a different head sculpt 
than the Return of the Jedi head sculpt. Am I correct, or did they just repaint it? Maybe thought they could text in there, or somebody can put in there. Is this a different head sculpt that looks completely different um, to me um, than the Return of the Jedi one? If it's not a different head sculpt, wow, they did some job. And putting this on the screen, Mana Hawk Collectibles, yes, different. Mm-hmm. Absolutely, Dante. I thought it was different. And remember we were talking about that, um, you know, I think it was on Dante's stream from the Mana Hawk Collectibles, or it might have been on uh, my stream um, as well, or perhaps both of them, that we were thinking if, if they weren't going to change the head sculpt, that perhaps they would give us the rolling eyes function to con and, and, and just change the hair so that, um, you know, it would, it would kind of compensate for like, I oh, didn't change the head sculpt, but listen, not only did they change the head sculpt, baby. Okay. Just confirmed here from the man of hot collectibles. They still gave you the rolling eyes function. We get a Luke Skywalker with a rolling eyes function and you don't have to spend $1,000 or it's really 700 for a DX 07 Bespin Luke to get the rolling eyes function. I get a Luke Skywalker. You get a Luke Skywalker. We all get a Luke Skywalker. If you want to pre-order this, I'm sure that there's some of you in here who are just like, ah, oh, this is a hard pass. This is a pass. This is pass like, uh, um, you know, like the, the Jet Trooper. No, no, just kidding, just kidding, just kidding. Yeah, maybe some of you are passing on it. Let me tell you. <laughs> you know, someone's talking about getting two. I think about getting a dozen of these. Oh, my goodness gracious. I just love this figure. But they gave us a new head sculpt, and they gave us rolling eyes, and they gave us a DX, baby. Wow, wow, wow. <clears throat> wow, we got Andrew James in the house. What's going on? Good to have Andrew in here. Um... Fabio, yeah, the rolling eyes make it makes it a DX. Yeah, 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 it it absolutely does. Uh, even though you got that Clone Wars Ahsoka that supposedly has, uh, doesn't that Clone Wars Ahsoka have rolling eyes, but it's not a DX? I, I still think they got to redefine what they're doing with uh, with DX. We're going to get into this in a little bit. Um, I wonder what kind of cloak they're 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 giving with this, or if the tailoring. I know that the DX from the uh, from the Ahsoka, the DX Ahsoka that they came out with back in May. That has some really, really cool uh, tailoring and whatnot, and plus the roller guys. I felt that that was the new DX. Uh, I'm wondering if this if this Luke Skywalker, uh, the robes and the cloak, if it's going to be superior maybe than the Return of the Jedi as far as that goes. And uh, yeah, we'll have to, we'll have to see. I'm just so like, like pumped up on this. Um, it's Popstick putting on the movable eyes are a must. Oh, my goodness. I I'm telling you. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I agree, Buddy Hepburn. Looks better than the CGI head in the show. Um, I'm just going through a lot of these. The sculpt is beautiful. Yeah, you're, you're not kidding. I think it's it's exactly what I want because you know why, Popsick? I want to relive this moment. How many of you would like to relive this moment if you're displaying this in your collection? Like, go ahead and let me know in the chat. Like, for me, I'm looking forward to get that Boba Fett with the throne. And that Fennec is coming really, really quick in two weeks. The next one that's going to get announced. Heard it here. Um, anyway, I, I want to, like, I want to display the moment of when, of when you know, Boba Fett does in Bib Fortuna. And Fennec sits, you know, on the uh, side of a throne with the spotchka, whatever you call that, that blue, that blue, uh, that blue milk, baby. Ooh, man, hot toys. Hot toys are killing me. My goodness, hot toys. All right. But listen, now I get to now I get the Pedro Pascal Mandalorian with the chrome plated armor, whatever, with, with, with Grogu. And now I get Luke with Grogu. And I'm gonna display it for the moment. Not so much the figure. It's the moment. You know why I love and I think people are catching on to this, the dark side Anakin, not to get off topic, but I love the dark side Anakin because of the moment, the moment when, you know, he kind of, you know, Mace Windu flew through the windows and then it was like, I will, you know, serve you forever. The emperor goes, 
good. You know, I just, I'm just like, I love that moment. It kind of reminds me, Dark Side Anakin of that moment. And Padme is all like, like distressed because, you know, you know, she's hearing about younglings, uh, you know, being slaughtered and all that kind of stuff in Revenge of the Sith. And I like the moment. I love the Dark Side Anakin. It's more about the moment than for, for me, you know, the, the figure. But getting back to this, it's about this moment. This is the moment. This is the moment we've been waiting for. Look, mm, I love the moment of Luke on crate. I love the moment with Luke on crate when he, you know, you could tell by his feet he did the, the red little salt or whatever it was. But come on, this is the moment. Favreau made this moment. Filoni made this moment. And I want to display this moment. Goodness gracious, let's keep going down over here. So for me, for them to match the CGI is what I'm trying to say. I want to relive the moment. I, I don't want like, you know, who, whoever this this other actor is that they talk about. This other actor is gonna gonna play this. Well, I, I actually don't think so because they already showed that they're gonna CGI Luke Skywalker. They're not gonna. They already. Did, I, I think they're gonna keep it that way. They might use him for some action sequences. Who knows? But I want it just the way it was when you made me raise out of my chair. When you made me jump out of everybody in my family off the couch when Luke Skywalker showed up. That's what you did here. Sure, the CGI I thought was a little bit cheesy, but who cares? They did it. And so Hot Toys captured what they're supposed to do. They're supposed to capture what's on film. They captured here what's on film. And I think it's actually better. And we get a new head sculpt. And they have the rolling eyes, baby. <clears throat> Goodness gracious. Yeah, I, I feel the same way. I'm a real big OT guy, Bradley. I don't want Luke recast. Mark is Luke. And, and I don't... I, Favreau and Filoni aren't teasers. Like, like, like you almost think from the past, like, I, I almost felt like the X-Wing was pulling on a Moff Gideon ship, and you're like, okay, well, it, it's not... It's going to be Ezra. It's going to be someone. It's not going to be Luke. Then, then you see the green lightsaber. You're like, yeah, someone has Luke's lightsaber. You know, I almost had to see it to believe it. But really, with Favreau and Filoni, are they really going to jerk you around like that and are they really going to bring in mark hamill and say oh by the way we did it for the finale but we're not going to use him no more i i don't think so i really don't i i really don't i think i think that this is the way they're going to go i don't expect to see luke in these a whole whole lot i think it's going to be very few and far between or very very quick 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 scenes in all these different shows where he comes in but just the fact that he's there is all i care about baby that's my opinion who knows what they'll do but they captured this moment, 122, in Aries is Live and Raw, an impromptu Monday Night Live and Raw. Please hit that like button. Let's let Howard Chan know just how impressed we are with this release, just how happy we are that Hot Toys is paying attention. You know, if they want us to be excited, and I'm not able to get every Mandalorian figure, and I'm not going to get every Mandalorian figure or every figure as it is, but if they want us to get excited about all the other figures, or at least be excited for others that are going to get that. This is the kind of figure that generates the excitement. Remember, they did that just a few weeks ago with the Boba and the Throne. That Boba and the Throne, everyone was excited. They they, they could have released uh, um, sand on a on, on, on a stick during Sideshow Con, and we would have been excited because of that Boba Fett, which was the moment that followed this moment, and it was an apropos moment at the ending of the rolling credits. Now they're giving you this, which I love Boba Fett. Okay, probably second favorite character, second favorite moment. But this is a moment that's even greater than Boba taking the throne. This is the moment for me anyway. Okay, to me, this is the moment. Now you could give me Frog Lady. Okay, you could give me Frog Man. You could give me anything you want out there, and I'm going to be like all happy about it. I might not get it, but I'm going to be happy about it. <laughs> Goodness gracious. Let's go through some of these in here. <clears throat> goodness gracious here. Oh, my goodness. Uh, <clears throat> looking through some of these comments. I am so pumped up. Um, <laughs> this Luke is great. I mean, I, I, let, 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 let's go back. Let's go back. I'm looking at some of these comments. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, I'm just pulling this up. Look, we're going to get excited. Start imagining Ezra Bridger and Thrawn, one six from the Ahsoka series. Listen, she already mentioned Thrawn. We know Thrawn's coming. You know we're going to get that figure. What else is Filoni and Favreau going to put out there? Come on, baby. <clears throat> wow. 
Wow, wow, wow. Yeah, I like this OG fan. Luke's return equals one. Boba's return equals one A. Yeah, it was kind of like a, I don't know if you could put a cherry on the top. About 135 in here, and Aries is live and raw. Goodness gracious. Let's go to, uh, let, let's look at this again. Let's look. I mean, they really, really captured it. Let's go to some other things. Someone in the comment there below, uh, Man of Hot Collectibles, you still in there? Let me know if they did anything that you feel from the uh, the tailoring to this. Is, is it kind of the tailoring the same as Return of the Jedi or like we're going to get from that figure? Or is it more on the lines of the, the Ahsoka DX from The Mandalorian? If someone knows that answer, put that in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go to another figure. Let's go to another uh, picture, I mean. Oh, look at this. I mean, just look at this. Wow. 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 Look at that. Look at that. Mm. It looks better. It looks better than actually the, the, the CGI look. How many of you think it looks better? This looks fantastic. This looks absolutely fantastic. We expect Hot Toys to nail the movie or the show likeness, right? We want them to nail the movie or the show not likeness or the video game likeness. No matter what you thought of the CGI, they nailed this. And they gave you rolling eyes. Wow. <clears throat> wow, wow, wow. Absolutely, absolutely crazy. Man of Hot Collectibles improved with better articulation. Wow. Um, that is that is insane. That is absolutely insane. Um, I, I need to I need to know more about what they're doing here. Hey, uh, you know, uh 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 Dante, I'm going to send you a link to the stream if you're able to join. For all I know, you're you're maybe at work, but let, let me send this to you, baby, because I want to, I want to talk to you a little bit about what's going on over here. If you're able to drop in, drop in. If you can't, I understand, my man, but I just sent you a link. I want to talk about this tailoring because they're calling it a DX, and I'm wondering if it's just because uh, of the eyes. But man, come share the joy. Holy moly, this thing looks absolutely fantastic. <clears throat> Max's Geekdom. Let's put this let's put this on the screen. Yes, I think this looks more like Luke than the CGI. I do too. How many of you think that? <clears throat> I almost felt like they really cleaned up whatever it is the CGI person or what they were trying to do, Disney, you know, for Favreau and Filoni when they put this up. <clears throat> Uh, that's a good question, the collector. Did they put the person who did the sculpt up? I don't know. I don't know. Um, let's go. I'll have to go take a look. We'll have to go take a look and pull that up to go see. Um, let's actually go to some other pictures that are in here. This picture looks sick. Let's actually see if I could pull up the uh, um, Luke everything. I'll see if this crashes. Um, let's not go to that first. I want to actually go to the sideshow listing. Let's see. Let's pull that up in here. All right. So 285 special edition. You guys see that on the screen. Um, sideshow exclusive comes with a Moff Gideon light cruiser hologram and then one hollow projector. Um, let's see here. Uh, I'm sure they have some information perhaps in here. I don't know. We'll have to read through this. Drop the name of the of the guy or gal who may have uh, sculpted this. I don't see it in here, but man, 285. All right, so a DX, this is still a DX, right? Um, even though this is the non-deluxe. 285 for a DX. What do you guys think of that? What do you guys think of that? Let me know. <clears throat> Deluxe is 330. Draw the line put up. Regular is 285. Okay. Yes, 330. I can't get up. I can't get up the other. Uh, let me know if anybody has any luck pulling up the deluxe version on Sideshow or if it's still crashing. You think it broke the internet? 140 here on a Monday night. Come on, baby. <clears throat> Jonathan. Jonathan. Napolitano. Deluxe equals Dark Trooper. That's it. Wow. Wow. Okay. 
So the deluxe comes with just a dark trooper. Can you guys confirm that? I wanted to pull that up, but I'm not able to pull it up right now. So the deluxe version just gives you the dark trooper. Is that really the only difference um, from 330 to 285? Um, that would be 15, a $45 difference. Um, I think it's worth it if that's the difference, especially if you don't want to get a whole dark trooper, which... You know, a lot of people were saying, I hope it comes with a, with a, uh, with one because that way you didn't have to buy one. Um, but I'm still thinking of buying one right now. Sideshow just broke. <laughs> yeah, I mean, the internet's breaking with this figure. Mm -mm -mm. And put this up here. Macho Grande in the house. Yes, that is the only difference with 143 watching. Wow. Um, that is very, very interesting. That is very, very interesting. Does it actually light up? Can someone tell me that? I want to pull this up. <clears throat> and let me pull this super chat on the screen. And look, I got Dante actually is able to join me here. What is up, brother? I was eating popcorn. I was watching your show. <laughs> uh, I actually was working from home. I said, you know what? Let me watch this show. So I'm eating my popcorn. Um, <laughs> man. Man, look at this. We're talking about the dark trooper. I just pulled it up. Howard uh, Chen real... just sent me oh. just sent me the look and uh with the Grogu. He just mailed it to me. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Tack Peter, I thank you so much. Scroll up and down. Use the uh use the drop down. Appreciate the super chat, Attack Peter. We'll absolutely do that when we uh when we go back over there. Thank you so much for uh, uh for sending that. Uh, Tack Peter, really appreciate the support. But man, okay, let, let's first get into this because we got 147 in here right now, Dante. There's uh, wow. there's absolutely an incredible yeah. a lot of excitement for this Luke Skywalker. Um, to me, it makes sense. You drop all people were so excited about all the sideshow reveals just because of Boba Fett the week before. How excited are people going to be? I mean, just tell me your. Uh, I don't know what you felt this morning. Tell me. If I can unmute, I was looking for the mute button. Um, well, uh, you know, funny enough, I couldn't sleep last night. I, I just I just have so much th this morning at work. So I was just thinking about what I'm going to do, what I'm going to say, you know, because I have a presentation this morning. Yeah. But um, so I couldn't sleep last night. I didn't even watch my, my, my phone or anything until this morning because I wanted to sleep. I wanted to concentrate, whatever. I, soon, I woke up like around six o'clock today. I... Check my phone. I'm like, <laughs> I got, I got crazy, man. Like, yeah. the, the first thing I did was recording the preview, the figure preview, which you know I was like, half asleep, <laughs> half awake. You know, uh, it, it was insane. I'm very happy that Hato decided to do it, and, and we were talking about this areas many, many, many oh. shows ago. We were talking about like, you know, what could be. Are we gonna have a, a, a R2D2? You know, I said no. Probably it's gonna come with the with the you know dark trooper. Remember that we were we were kind of like you know dreaming about it, right? Um, yeah. Some of the sources confirmed that Mandalug was about to be next. You know, uh, I I shared that information you on your show the other uh, like a few 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 shows ago, and also the best pin look, right? We were talking about okay, so which one is gonna be first, best pin look or <laughs> Mandalug? They told me no, well Ma Ma Mandalug is gonna be first, and then best pin looks, but we didn't know dates, nothing. It was just information we get you know we we don't know the exact dates obviously we would know we, we just would have said that right but i'm very happy with this i think this is a, a i mean me talking I, I think this is an improvement from the return of the jedi simply because if you notice the the the, the pants are a bit baggier the suit is a bit different you can see some uh like it doesn't have the the, the fat suit inside so they can, you can actually do better articulation on this one based on what i thank goodness see thank on goodness. the pictures so, uh, and again this is a dx uh set so tailoring has to be much better and which it is if you see the details on the on the clock and also on the pants the the vest and everything you can see like a fine tailoring there you know, uh, the articulation seems much better uh, based on one picture that he was actually um, on his knees with um, with uh, with Grogu next to him. I mean, you know, I, I think this is an improvement. I'm very happy that Hato decides, decided to give us 
uh, this figure. I'm, I'm very happy. The, the head sculpt, a lot of people are like, some of them like it, some of them don't, which is absolutely fine. I personally like it. I think it is a good, um, uh, you know, good head sculpt. And remember, this is still a prototype. And, the you know, based yeah. on what we've seen before, Hot Toys came up and said, hey, guys, I'm going to upgrade. I'm going to fix something. And this is the new upgraded head sculpt. So don't be surprised if along the run, they probably do some minor upgrades here and there to make it look much, much better. So well, let, let's get into that a little bit. And I will tell you that um, welcome everybody in here. We just see that uh, 808 Michigan Jedi joining us there from, from Hawaii. So happy uh, um, he's in the house. And we have 151 in here right now. Wow. You're talking about excitement for this Luke Skywalker. And before we dive into it, Dante, I just want to say, too, I woke up this morning. Uh, you know, I, I'm in my bed and on my nightstand, you know, on my side of the bed, I have my phone. And I grab the phone. I see all these messages. I'm like, you know, uh, what happened? Who died or what? <laughs> I'm looking at it. I'm like, <laughs> and the whole thing, as soon as I see the picture, I'd be like, holy you know what? I'm just like, oh my goodness. And I'm just like, you know, I, I jump out of bed. I go and I brew the coffee, baby. And uh, my goodness gracious. I mean, I, I like like you all day, I have been just crushed at work. So I'm really just diving into this now. But I don't know what all your stories are in there in the chat. Go ahead and, and just put it in. Whatever. Well, what did you all feel like this morning when you saw this this release? But uh, that, that was my feeling. So let me ask you this. Yeah, sure. Yeah, go ahead. Um, no, no. What, what, you know, the funny thing is, like, when I saw the the, the pictures, right, I saw with R2-D2, and I said, oh, shoot, it's going to come with R2-D2. And then when I started scrolling to the pictures, I saw, wait a second, no, no, it's not included. It's actually the Dark Trooper. And and I think that's a good call, because if you think about it, right, you know, for example, uh, Boba Fett 2-pack, right, how much is that? For 500 and change, right? Yeah, this would be real expensive. They would add R2. To exactly. Say. Because if they're, gonna, if they're going to add R2D, to, it has to be the die cast, has to be, you know, has to be the, the, the good one, right? So the price that would be higher. And I think they wanted to play safe. Um, they want they to get pre orders faster. So it, I think to me, now that I'm obviously, it's easy to, you know, to say after the fact, right? But but now it makes sense why they didn't do it. They wanted to include the Dark Trooper, just to give you the illusion of the, you know, Force Crush. And that's going to help the, the Dark Troopers itself, because, you know, now people are going to say, shoot, I have to buy six, I have to buy seven of these Troopers, you know, plus the, the one that is, you know, you know the, the, the crushed, whatever. You know, you can have your army there. So, you know, it's going to definitely help. So, uh, yeah, I was very yeah. surprised, very impressed. I wasn't drinking coffee. I drank coffee after the fact. But uh, but I can imagine, man. It was just um, very, very good news. Well, let, let's. I need your help with this. So so let me go ahead and share the screen. So I didn't get a chance to, to watch anything yet or dive into this. I didn't even read the fine print on Sideshow, and I've been trying to refresh the, the deluxe page, and it won't do that. But pulling this up. So tell me, I know that you put out a video this morning that I didn't get a chance to, uh, to look. It's going to be the first one that I do to dive into this. But I got the man right here, right here on Aries is live and raw to tell me. Let's first talk about before the head sculpt. Let's talk about this outfit. You mentioned in the chat before you came on that you felt that it was going to be uh, perhaps on the level of Ahsoka and not the same as a Return of the Jedi. Explain to me what you're seeing here on what the difference with this fabric is for this figure from your perspective. So, oh shoot, I just dropped Grogu. Sorry, Grogu. Oh, great. Um, so, you know, just, okay. just to give you an idea, right? I mean, I know this is, I mean, I'm just going to zoom it in here. Okay. So, okay, so just to have an idea, right, based on what you're showing on the picture right now. Mm -hmm. So you see that this here is kind of like a little grayish color. Right, right. If you're gonna see the the picture from the the promo pictures, it is it is it is black, right? right. Pretty much everything is black, including the this, right? So, if you zoom in a little bit, because I I tend to kind of like see the the detail on the on the fabric mm -hmm. to see how well it's tailored or whatever, you can see that it's made a bit different than this for sure. So that to me. It is it, is an improvement, right? On this, that is an improvement. Sure, right? yeah, I'm looking right at it there. The other thing, the other thing is, if you notice the pants, right? Mm -hmm. These pants are tighter, right, compared to the ones on the picture because 
this one has a suit inside. So that limits articulation a little bit. Okay. But for the other one, right? If if you can go back to the to this to the pictures. Sure. You, let me go back you to can it. See, you know, you, you, you another can one see up. the um so you can see the, 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 the pants a bit back here. So that means right, you can see the pants. Yes. Just a bit back here. So that Just means focusing that you, on that, yep. So you're gonna have a more ratio of motion on the leg. So that means that they improve the body, right? Because there's no suit inside, right? Look at the arms, how easy it bends. So those little things that you know, some some people, I mean, I usually kind of like like to see the articulation based on this to have an idea. Again, what we have in the hand could be totally different beast, but based on what I've seen so far, I can see that the articulation has been improved. So either they change the body inside and make it better, so the articulation is much better. Or they just simply add more fabric to the to the custom, so you can have more articulation. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but, this pose looks sick. I mean, it almost looks like he's in the wind walking, and he got like right. air. It and does this, look more fantastical. Right, and this is and based on this picture, this here is wired right on on the mandal look. This one is yeah, not. Yeah, I wanted to good. ask you. You're talking about the cape, right? I'm talking about the actual. You know, this little piece here on the best. Let me actually pull that. Let me actually pull you back up the solo view. I want to yeah. see what you're talking about. Oh, really? That's why. Right? Look, look now, that's not wired on the uh, end this, or, or the Jedi Master version, right? This is this is the regular um, uh, Return of the Jedi. So Return I'm of the sure Jedi, that the looks the brown has those features. On it. If you guys have that that figure and, and I'm talking crap, just please correct me because I'm I've got the Endor it. one. I've got the Endor one does not come with the cape, but it has the two head sculpts. Okay. But so without the fat suit. Okay, so I'm basing my 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 analysis on on this figure, right? Obviously, uh, I, I believe that the locks should be the same thing, but but this piece here on the on the Mando look is wired, so, and I think the cape as well is wired. I was going to ask you about that. So so interesting about the uh, you know that part that you're saying is wired below his belt around his weight, whatever you call that, the, the little strips that come out of the tunic or whatever you, you want to call it. But tell me about this cape, because when I look at this cape, and I got other pictures, but I don't want to leave this one or fumble around. It does look like it's wired. It, does it looks like the tunic is wired as well. But right. the cape looks like it's, does it look like it's a different and upgraded quality as well from the one you have? Oh, oh yes. And and it does look like you have more leisures in here as well more the, layers the, let me bring you back up right in the vest you, you can see that you have this is the regular version you see just right. this and the and this here but if you go and look at the picture that uh was posted today you can see another ledger of uh of clothing you know so that's that's a that's a, to me when, when we talk about the x uh, a lot of people may think oh it's a dx so it has to have like a fifty thousand accessories like a three you know sometimes it's not just the amount is the quantity is just the quality and 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 i know sometimes it's hard to say okay i'm if i'm gonna pay like i don't know 310 320 for this i mean at least i want to have a to i want to have this i want to have that but then if you think about it right the tailoring is one thing the yes. case is wired you know even the, the details on the vest are wired the pants are are like the texture looks different right by looking at the picture again this is just a picture so it's kind of hard to 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 analyze this unless you have it with you uh, and, and but to me, this looks an improvement, and that's a good thing. Yeah, and Dante, it looks like 808 Michigan Jedi saying hood looks though it's wired too. And thank you for that yes. comment. Uh, I mean, I would imagine that the cape absolutely looks wired. They'd have to wire that that hood. Do you think so as well? Oh yes, yes. This one is wired. So so if this one is wired, that one has to be wired, right? So this is this is wired. Oh, so okay. Wow. That, that wow, wow, wow. Well. Yes. Based on the so, pictures again. This is just, we're just basing this in the pictures, right? No, no, absolutely. So you're thinking that the fabric, because that was one of the things that we were all talking about on both our different live shows. 174 um, yeah. are in here right now. Please go ahead record. and hit that. Uh, Maybe. That like button. We so appreciate it. Let's uh, that helps the video and that helps Howard Chan take a look and let him know that he did the right thing here and Hot Toys did the right thing coming off the heels of that Boba Fett. Go Dante, go ahead. And I have to give a shout out to Fabio because he did, he actually was funny because yesterday we, we showed up on your live stream, Aries, and, and he did say it. You know, it's gonna be- He a did, day. he it's did. Gonna be, 
So this morning he's been bombarding me with messages saying, you see, I told you, I told you, see, yeah, I told you, told me. No, but no, he shout out to Fabio because he did call it. And in, in, to be, in all fairness, I think we all called it because we all spoke about this many, many streams ago, you know, and it's funny because I have a feeling that, you know, for, you know, based on what happened with with Hatois, with Mark 85, or all these issues with the health clubs and the people, you know, complaints and everything, you know, uh, it looks to me that they are paying closer attention to the community, to maybe YouTubers like us, you know, trying to kind of like improve on something or, or, or make something much, much better. And I think they're listening. You know, um, when we talk about the Dark Trooper, like what if if they include a, a Dark Trooper with a Force uh, Crush, you know, it, it was... How many like of us said we wanted the, the Dark Trooper here? I mean, so many of the comments, if they're paying attention, you're right, go on. I just want to say that. You're right. right? We, we said it many times, like, what if, what if, what if, what if, right? We knew it was going to have a Grogu for sure. I mean, that's... No. Yeah. A mass. I mean, you can not, Grogu Mania is all the right. Thing. Give me all the Grogu's, baby. <laughs> right. And and hey, this little fella is cute, man. Like, yes, he is. Is. Come on, it's Mickey Mouse. Let's go, baby. <laughs> Come on. Yeah, and and yeah, I think somebody says I think Hato is. Uh, I mean, uh, Fabio is a wizard. I think Fabio is a wizard too. Yeah, Fabio uh, is a wizard. Is it possible that Fabio is the Hot Toys wizard? You have to wonder. <laughs> you have to wonder. Yes. <laughs> no, and, that was and the definitely reason... a great, a great, great call by uh, by Fabio, and he was saying. Because of the epicness of this particular release, because of, I mean, and just look how epic this is. Come on, ladies and gentlemen, look. I mean, just look at this. I mean, this is, oh, my goodness gracious. I might need to get to Dante to kind of have him crushing the Dark Trooper and then have another one with the hood down where, you know, he's talking to, you know, Grogu and Din Djarin. I think I actually, now that I'm thinking about this, I may get two of these, baby, because I think I've got to have both scenes. I'm not really going to have, once I put the scene in my detoff of Luke Skywalker with Grogu, with, uh, you know, uh, Din Djarin and, and Grogu, I'm probably not going to like, okay, this week I'm going to put it with the Dark Trooper. I'm probably going to get a different one. Wow. And people were talking about that in there. Some people were thinking about getting two. That would be the reason why I would get two. I mean, what do you think about that? I think some people might get two of this. Well, I'm one of them, actually. Uh, I normally mm. don't pre-order stuff. Uh, here and there, I pre-order really here and there because I have uh, have my person in Hong Kong who gives me the figures, right? So, But I have to pre-order one extra because I want to have the... Because when I get my module cases, I want to have a case for the Mandalorian. So I want to have, you know, look within the entrance with the lights, everything like this pose, and then have another one with uh with Dean Jaren and you know R2D2, you know. So I'm actually gonna get two. <laughs> and I normally don't get you know multiples of, of stuff, but for this one in particular, just because I I'm so you know a fan of the show. I love the Mandalorian. Uh Luke is one of my favorite characters. Believe it or not, Palpatine is my first, believe it or not. But Palpatine Luke, those are my favorite characters in Star Wars. So, you know, that's gonna um that, that's a must. And and guys, if you want to order, and Iris, I don't know if I can say this, but if you guys want to order this figure, you can go to Comic Concepts. Uh, they actually have a pretty good deal, you know. Uh, and Or if you don't want to wait, you can go to Day One Collectibles. Sorry, Iris, if I plug in someone that shouldn't plug. <laughs> no, 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 that's fine. Look, I, I just, I'm putting up this, I'm going through the pictures here. Look, I'm so excited. Dante, you did the review. I'm putting this up. And, uh, Max's geekdom is saying, and the lightsaber is also light up. Is this true? Is it possible this is light up? Okay, so I think I mentioned this in the on the on the preview that I did earlier. Um, I don't know. <laughs> I, I don't know uh, whether they're gonna have a a brand new technology for this. Whether you're gonna put the batteries inside the the hilt, or it won't have a light up feature. Because I don't think I don't think I read anything that says is light up because. I read that it says lighter has been enhanced for the for the picture. So, and if you notice, you don't have the arm. I think I don't. I didn't see an, an extra arm there, unless I'm, I'm mistaken. But I didn't see an arm. So I think either this is gonna be a brand new light up feature, or it will not have a light up feature at all. Let me actually pull it up while while we're on here. I'm actually gonna pull up 
and I can get the non-deluxe version. It looks like that the internet's broken with the deluxe version. This figure is going to be, my goodness gracious. Let's see if I can see. Um, no, it says right here, Dante. It says the highly uh, accurate Luke Skywalker collectible figure features meticulously developed new head sculpt with astonishing likeness, skillfully tailored Jedi outfit and cloak, a lightsaber with lead light up function. Wow. Okay. A display base and themed backdrop. Wow. So that means that means that this is going to be a different type of light up feature because I don't think I've seen, you know, the, the interchangeable arm. I don't think I've seen that. Let's actually go to the everything picture. That would be a welcome change. And uh, there's not arm. So that means that either I don't see the arm. You're right. Wow. So I have a feeling that they're going to actually put batteries on the actual um, hilt. <laughs> oh, that would be wow. Great. I mean, that would be actually great. What do you guys think of that in the chat? Come on. I, I think I better go. I, I think I got to keep brewing coffee. I might not get no rest tonight. <laughs> if you're telling me we're going to get this Luke figure and it's going to come with a light up saber that I don't have to remove the arm, baby. Are you kidding me? Oh, my goodness gracious. Let's. Uh, mm -mm -mm. Yeah. Toy box. Toy box puts up in the well, booth actually, photos, which shows a light up arm. Well, yeah, we just read it. It comes with the light up arm. Absolutely. <clears throat> right. No, but uh, one of your, your uh, audiences, uh, Macho Grande, says the interchangeable arm is in secret base photo. Okay, so I didn't see that. By the time I did this video earlier in the morning, I just had the pictures from uh, from Facebook. It wasn't on, on, on SciShow or anywhere, so. Um... Yes, Connor says that would be insane. Don't get our hopes up. So, so it is coming with the arm then. Okay, so if it's coming with them, then all right. If and it is, we, I don't know, or, or I, I thought you just said that. So we, we have to, someone maybe can confirm um, if they actually uh, um, plug in rechargeable like the Mark I. Um, is this is this, is this this hopeful, Slim Rummy, or do you have this information? Who, who If anyone out there knows what the real scoop is, if this is a, a it does come with a light-up saber. Oh, does yes, it, come, it does. Sorry, uh, yeah, Will, Will, shout out to Will C. He sent me a picture of, of yeah, let me just show you guys. Let me actually pull this up. Let me pull you up to, to solo layout. Well, let me just... Is that the uh, the lightsaber arm there? Is it the arm in there? Oh, okay, yeah, I see it. Okay, oh, yes. well, that's all right. I mean, someday the technology will come where we don't have hey. to uh, switch the arms out. But I'm glad it comes with a light-up saber because I know the uh, – I don't think the Clone Wars Ahsoka comes with it, and I know that the Ray that just came out doesn't have the light-up saber. The Kylo Ren does. But I'm so glad with the Luke that we get the light-up saber. Wow. Yes, yes. Um, all right, Dante, let's go to – I, I got to bring this picture up, and we'll see if I pick up the right one. Um, let's talk about – uh, I want to talk about the head sculpt and I want to get your impressions. Like I said, I didn't get a chance. Here we go. I want to use this one. So rolling eyes function. Are you kidding me with this? My friend, we actually talked about this, that they would give us a rolling eyes function as a way to compensate because they're going to use the same head sculpt from return of the Jedi. They'll give you a different hair piece. They'll change the paint a little bit and then everyone will be happy. But I am over the mood that they still did all that and gave us a different head sculpt. Tell me a little bit about your impressions about uh, how happy are you that they changed the head sculpt and gave us rolling eyes? Okay, so the first thing I'm going to say is that obviously this is a prototype. Uh, and now that Hato is having improving head sculpts, showing upgraded pictures, you know, I would not be surprised if they tweak this. Because it does look good to me. It does look good. Oh, I think it looks fat. You know? I think that they absolutely nailed. They they nailed what Filoni and Favreau did exactly to the film. I actually think they made it look better because some people, and I agree, it could look a little cheesy, the CGI. But that's what Hot Toys' job is, is to match what's on TV. Right. So it does match <laughs> It does match the CGI look. I mean, it, it, I mean, it is what it is, right? It does. 
Uh, I'm not surprised for the for the rolling eyes just because this is a DX. I wouldn't be surprised if this weren't a DX, but it is a DX. So they needed to include that, right? The hair obviously is shorter because that's how that's how it was shown in the show. So um, you know, I, I like this as hope. Personally, I like it. Uh, many people may maybe don't like it, which is absolutely fine. Uh, I think I still believe yeah. that. Is gonna be room for improvement though, so don't be surprised if by the time this is out, they probably improve the head scope, they probably change something. Now, I guess now, here's the thing though, before you continue on that, I will tell you, like, I, like, I blew this up, and this is still my opinion from this morning. When I look at this figure, to me, this looks exactly exactly like the Luke. In the season finale. I mean, I literally see no difference. The only difference, I, I don't know, Dante, how much they can improve on this. Because I actually think it looks better than Favreau's CGI. It, you know, it does. <laughs> it does. Yeah. Uh, I, I think uh, um, I think I mentioned this before as well, that the the the, the head scope is definitely much better than the CGI, right? But it does look like the CGI. So that's, that's what it is, right? Um, I guess the question is, do you think, right, now that we're talking about Luke Skywalker and the potential looks that are coming up next, do you think they're going to reuse now this head scope and try to mold it better or maybe paint it different or maybe change something and continue with this type of mold, if you will? Do you think that could be a possibility? You know, with 175 in here, please go ahead and hit that like button if you haven't already, because obviously Howard Chad is paying attention to all these shows, to my show, to Dante's show, to everybody's channel shows out there. And this is an absolutely epic, epic, epic release by Hot Toys. Yes, Dante, is it possible, you're asking, that they use this head sculpt again? I actually think in some ways it does look a little bit older than what he looks like in Return of the Jedi. I like it. I think that they can do a ton with this hair. I'd actually like it in the final production photos if they can give us maybe a couple of different hair pieces to go with this. I mean, the hair looks just like it is in the CGI. I could actually, I would love to have maybe two or three other hair pieces where I could kind of fit it the way I want and, you know, move the eyes a little bit. So I'd love to see that. I actually think more than them improving the head sculpt for me. So I'll answer your question in two ways. I would, I don't think they need to improve this head sculpt because I think it looks just like the finale. I think it looks better uh, to be quite honest with you. And even when you go to this shot here, I mean, it looks it just just like them uh, from from that CGI. But what I would prefer is a couple of different hair pieces so I can have it exactly the way I want. I wish they would do that. That's one thing I want you to comment on. The second thing is, I actually think this is a one off. I think that this is such a special release, and Fabio called it with a DX. Um, I actually think that this is a one off. They may never use this head sculpt again unless the CGI shows up in season three. Okay, so go ahead. Let's say you. So a couple of things. Uh, no, she won't. She won't break this. She like she likes to play with it. <laughs> um, so this is this is what well, this is my little little angel. Uh, okay, so two things, right? I think um, the, the the I mean the, I like the head sculpt. Yes, it does look like the CGI, and I mentioned this before um, because that's how it was presented to us. It was the CGI look. So you know. Is there room for improvement? Of course. I think they're going to improve this. I think they're going to, uh, at one point, they're going to do something different on this high school that people are going to get more uh, um, attracted to it. Um, this is a prototype. Again, you know, we cannot be harsh in the prototype, right? Because you yeah. can see that things can change between prototype and final product. So, so yeah, I, I'm, I'm very happy with this. Yeah, no, absolutely, absolutely. But you know, it is an interesting thing. Do you actually think that they will use this, you know, whether they change it a little bit or give us some extra hair pieces or leave it exactly the way it is? You know, the only way that I see them redoing this, because let me ask you this first. Do you think this looks a little bit older than what he looks like in Return of the Jedi? I actually think it's a perfect five years older. What do you think? I think it looks he looks older. Well, yeah, it does a little bit because of the I guess because the hair, the hair is shorter. He so looks a little like bit more mature. What do you guys think of the chat? He yeah. looks a little bit more like if he was facing the emperor now, I think the emperor would be a little bit more scared that, you know, all of the emperor's antics when he's like, 
I feel the hate swilling in you now. Take your Jedi weapon. I think he'd be like, you know what? Okay, well, don't take your Jedi. I don't know. <laughs> Let's talk about this a little bit because he looks, he looks even a little bit more um, tenured. He looks a little bit more, um, you know, seasoned here, Dante. He does. Even then the Return of the Jedi, which is why I'm not going to sell. I'm not going to sell my Return of the Jedi one because of this. Go. <laughs> What are the chances that she's gonna bring my R2D2? I'm just looking. <laughs> you know how much she calls me the freaking R2D2? And yeah, JB Collection puts up there. True, true, little older. Yeah, how many <laughs> you think it looks a little older? Uh um, how how, how okay, let me ask you this question because you, you, you probably know more than, than than me on this. How old do you think was Luke in the Return of the Jedi? Oh gosh. I wonder how old he was with 174 in here. I think 30s. he was like what 17 or 18 in a new hope. I think he was probably in high 20s. 30s. Really? Uh in in um Return of the Jedi. What do you all think? I'm thinking maybe Return of the Jedi. He might have been mid, he was definitely mid 20s. Maybe 29. mid I don't know the timeline between uh, between you know 25 to 30. Obviously in here I think he's in his low 30s. That's what I think. He looks like he's in his low 30s in here. Yeah, um, it looks it looks to me that he's in the mid 30s actually. On, on this one like yeah you know kg collector put this up i guess i, I would uh he's saying 36 single trog rider 29 slim rummy 24 okay so somewhere between 24 and, and 30, okay. <laughs> and 30. <laughs> one thing's for sure baby he's not 900 years old oh yeah yeah somebody says cgi justin bieber that's all <laughs> <laughs> somebody mentioned i was cracking up because somebody mentioned the chat it looks like ken Hey, Joe P. seen his birth certificate. <laughs> Look, Joe P. said he was 23, 24. I've seen his birth certificate. We'll see. 27, 20. Can one of you guys in the chat do me a favor? See if you could go ahead and phone the Hot Toys Wizard and ask him how old Luke Skywalker was in Return of the Jedi and ask the Hot Toys Wizard how old he is in the Mandalorian, but I agree with you, thought that he's somewhere between thirty and thirty-five. Right, so it, it kind of makes it kind of makes sense, you know. And uh, and I mean, you know, I, I'm very happy with this man. Like, I, I'm really excited about this release. Uh, it's coming Q4 2022, right? Um, so you know, the 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 rolling eyeballs are a good good call, especially if you're in photography. Um, so you know. Uh, you know, I, I like it. I really like it. Let's go to, uh, so yeah, I, I really think so too. And what do you think about the paint apps for, you know, capturing this scene as well? Obviously it was in Moff Gideon's ship. So um, I think that that's very important because obviously with the eyes and you can see with this picture here, you know, you're able to, you know, move it in any direction, you know, you want to. Um, it looks like it has the one hair piece, correct? It doesn't come with two. Uh, yeah, it looks one to me, yeah. What one for now? Anyway, they could always add another one, right? Yeah, I, I think. I mean, I don't know if for this in particular because I don't think we saw any other hairstyle. You know, just just this one. Uh, but if they want to use the same hair for future Luke Skywalker's, maybe they can add another hair piece. But yeah, I, I think the likeness is really nice. Um, well, here I just pulled up an image which I can't get, but I had it before. So there, there's there's everything that it comes with, even though we can't get the Sideshow Deluxe version because he's breaking the internet, baby. Um, but look, look, oh, man. I mean, what do you think of the, the, the paint apps on the sculpt for the face capturing, you know, in Moff Gideon's ship? Wow. I mean, I, I don't know. I think that this, I think it's, I think it's a stellar job. Like, I'm looking at it at a bigger screen right now. Then, then, well, I mean, some people are seeing on the bigger screen, but I like it, Dante. I think they did a good job all around. I mean, I think if they improve, I want to see some extra hair pieces. What do you think? Well, the, the paint application is definitely, you know, nicely done, especially you can see the, the birthmarks, you know, the, the wrinkles and the texture on the yeah, skin. Yeah, yeah. Um, but again, this is the prototype. So, you know, I usually don't like to be very uh, critic of the prototype because, you know, it was proven time after time after time that it was uh, um, the things can change, you know. So uh, but uh, but but yeah, based on what I've, I've seen, um, it, it's a DX. So it has to be a really good paint application. That's for sure.
And look at what Kurt Dittmer said here. Luke was 19 in A New Hope, 22 in Empire Strikes Back, 23 in Return of the Jedi, and 28 in The Mandalorian. Well, under this view, Dante, okay. Okay. if this is correct, that is, there is a huge difference between the age 23 and 28 when you, when you look at any you know human being uh, spanning that age. Early 20s, just coming into their 20s and 28, getting ready to go in their 30s. So it does make sense. I feel like Hot Toys has captured uh, the more seasoned look of Luke Skywalker um, as they tried to do. Uh, because that's the other thing, too. Uh, you got to give Filoni and Favreau credit. 183 in here. Thank you all so much for joining. But you got to give Favreau and Filoni credit for not only trying to capture the likeness of Luke Skywalker, but capture right. the likeness of Luke Skywalker, uh, they, you know, five years later, basically. Yeah, yeah. It's hard. Yeah. It, it is it is hard because they pretty much you know i mean obviously they probably saw pictures of of mark hamill when he was about that age right to to kind of like adjust the the cgi and uh and actually i have to read a comment i do agree i do agree with one six shooter when where he said that uh you know if there's no criticism there won't be any change and i agree with that i agree with that uh you know all points of all point of views are valid you know uh, a lot of people are, are, you know they like this has called all the people they don't like it as much and it's fine you know i i do think that this is going to be improved though i don't think this is going to be the last has we we're going to see because as i said before you know the hatters have shown us that they can't uh do upgrades to the Haskells because they hear the people you know they, they they're listening to us more than ever because after what happened with tony's tank you know they, they want to make sure that everything that is out is is good you know especially Luke. yeah no absolutely so let's go ahead and actually now talk about the the dark trooper so apparently the cost is what is it guys in there um 330 dollars for the uh um deluxe version and what is the price on the non-deluxe see if i could pull that back up again and thank you all so much for being in here Please go ahead and hit that like button for Aries is live and raw and impromptu stream. We got Dante, the man of hot collectibles in the house and uh, getting Dante's thoughts on here. We're kind of sharing this joy together and, and pulling this up on the screen. You see $285 and $330 for the deluxe. So a difference of $45, Dante, for the one uh the the dark trooper what do you what do you think about that what is your thoughts about that is it worth 45 dollars? well um okay so this is me talking and you guys can disagree with me i think the price is based more on the quality right and in this case because of the improvement of the tailoring the has called the paint application obviously the the you know the improvement of grogu right because now you have interchangeable arms that you know we we haven't discussed that yet so that's another option for you to post your figure uh the fact that we have a uh dark trooper which looks to me very nicely sculpted and painted i, I think the price makes sense to me uh again this is sideshow price hong kong price is is a bit cheaper so in reality this figure is probably about 295 you know, yeah, the deluxe, yeah over maybe there yeah 300 right this is 345 adding all the markups adding whatever they need to add right plus shipping and plus taxes so it might be a little bit steep for people and, and i can understand that because you know we're talking about all in with taxes maybe like you know three what 355 maybe 360 no actually more than that 365 370 maybe 380 maybe mm -hmm. so you know that's that's you know that's a bit uh, uh that's a bit pricey if you ask me but based on the quality that we're getting i think i think it, the price is is right you know it's a bit on the on the on the higher tier right i would probably say all in should be 375 370 so it's really not that much of a difference so i think the price is right well mark chan puts in here i'm gonna i'm gonna i'm gonna go off what you just said there hey aries and dante do you think we're getting too few things for a DX figure. And I thank you for um, asking that, Mark. And I'm going to kind of piggyback off of what, um, you know, Dante is saying here. So, you know, going back, before I answer that question, before we get into that, um, I think for a lot of collectors, including me, 
coming $45 so I don't have to buy a Dark Trooper, a whole figure, is exceptional to me. So if you're not planning on getting a Dark Trooper, but you really wanted to capture that moment of a last one he kind of did in a crust like a tin can, which is what we're dealing with here, to me, this is an absolute bargain for the deluxe, especially if you're not getting the Dark Trooper, because now you could either spend all that money for a Dark Trooper or you could spend $45 that day and it comes in the same box. On the same token, if you were on the fence about getting two Dark Troopers and you really just wanted one, guess what, baby? Get ready to spill your coffee because you could still just get one because you're getting this one with it. So if I get a Dark Trooper, everybody, I'm probably just going to get one because they're giving me this. I thought I think this is a home run for $45, Dante. Okay, tell me a little bit about that thought there and that perspective. Well, I think, uh, I mean... If you're gonna base your 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 uh, the price on just the 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 qu the quantity, right? You, you we can have an argument that this is not enough stuff, right? But if you're gonna base it on the quality, then I think it is the right amount, right? Because not only we're talking about the really improved figure based on the articulation, the the outfit, you know, the 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 wire clock and and all those little uh, things. Plus Grogu with the interchangeable arms. We have a backdrop, but then we have half of the Dark Trooper. And I mean, obviously, if you buy the Dark Troopers, you want to have this one here, yeah, right. So you can do that that uh, entrance and in, in, at the end of the Mandalorian when he was, you know, force crushing this this uh, trooper. So I think I think this is a good call. Um, again, you know, we were thinking about having R two D two, but it makes sense that they didn't include it because it would be much much higher in price but but yeah i mean many people will say you know what i don't gonna order a trooper because i have already what i want but other people are gonna say well i want to have my six troopers in the front and i want to do a, a you know scene with luke you know fighting all of them you know so people are gonna start buying that as well so i'm, I'm happy with 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 the uh, amount of accessories and i'm happy with the with the dark trooper for sure well, they thank you for the two dollar super chat. I'll try to get in this at the end of the show. Uh, I want to stay with Luke right now, but I want to acknowledge you so you know I'm not doing it there. I got to stay on Luke, baby. I love Ultraman, but I'm spilling my coffee on this. Um, but um, yeah, yeah, um, <clears throat> we're gonna talk about that before we end the show for sure, but. I like the Dark Trooper uh, for the deluxe because it, it to me it kind of it 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 kind of lessens the need to get multiples of um, the uh, the Dark Troopers if we don't need to. So I'm I'm pr I'm just so pumped up about this. And someone mentioned here before, and I see your super chat as well, Lord Thunderstruck. Are we moving closer to Bespin Luke? I'm gonna pop that up in just a minute, baby. I'm gonna pop that up in just a minute. But someone asked here, and I want to get into this now, Dante. Are we getting enough for a DX figure? Let's start with the Deluxe. So I know the DX, the DX label. We've talked about this on your show. We've talked about it on my show. I, I'll be honest with you. I'm really just looking at this now because I spilled my coffee this morning. But here's what you're getting. You're getting a lit lightsaber. Okay. And you're getting the lightsaber blades. You're getting Grogu. Um, you're getting a dark trooper that's crushed. You're getting the backdrop. You're getting a bunch of hands. I don't care about these holograms, but you're getting them too. But I think the other thing besides all of that, what you're really getting for this DX is you're getting the rolling eyes function and all the intricacies to the fabric that you pointed out with the pants, with the tunic, with the cloak, just like we were talking about the Ahsoka, it's more about now the fine tailoring. So to me, this is a superior figure than the Endor or the Return of the Jedi version in all of those regards. So I say we are, if this is the direction that Hot Toys is going with DX, I wish they would kind of point that out more. Um, but uh, I believe that this is worth it. What say you? Yeah, I think it is worth it uh, because of everything you mentioned, everything that we discussed so far, as far as the uh, the, the how the figure um, is designed, right? Um, you know, I, I think it is 
it is the right amount of stuff that we get. The quality is obviously there, right? It's not like just something that it was reused and put it as a DX. Then people will say, wait, wait a second. You know, you, you give me the same exact look of this one, just adding one extra accessory, that cannot be a DX. Where's the quality? So the quality is pretty much that. The head scope with the rolling eyes, the, the details on the suit, the fact that we probably have a new body, right? Because we don't have that suit in sight, so it will not limit the articulation based on the pictures, the lot of features, you know, Grogu with the, with different hands. So, yeah, I think it is a really good uh, um, overall. It's a really good figure, good release, good amount of accessories. I think it's priced right. Um, and, and, yeah, I'm happy with this. I'm very, very happy with this uh, announcement. Well, and let's actually go. And uh, Lord Thunder, I do see we're going to talk about closer to best of Luke. I'll pull that up in a minute. I'm just staying on this. Let's actually pull up the non deluxe version, Dante. And what do you think about this? Still a DX, $285. Now, when you compare this to the Bo Katan, for instance, $285, not a deluxe figure but you're talking about the tailoring. Let's talk specifically about $285 for a deluxe figure with rolling eyes function, with it having the updated materials, with it having a lit lightsaber. I mean, really for the rolling eyes function? I mean, how much did Qui-Gon go for? I think Qui-Gon went for $235, right? Um, and that did I would actually pay 285 for for Qui Gon if it came with rolling eyes if they did just for that. But I think this one has some extra benefits to it. But specifically about this one, what do you think 285? Uh, for 285, you're getting the same quality of the of the of the uh, special edition one, right? You get mm -hmm. pretty much you get everything except the dark everything trooper. except the dark trooper. So and I don't think it comes with or maybe the backdrop is also included. So you know. I have a feeling, and this is just me thinking just now. I have a feeling that maybe they might improve the the um, um, the dark trooper. Maybe they will add some lighter feature in it. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't know. That, that's a possibility. That would be that sick. Would be, that would be sick, actually. That would be sick. You know, and, and I think it, it will it will compensate. You you know the the concerns of the pricing, right? Even though I don't think is is bad price at all. But uh, but for two eighty five, I mean, it's really a a good option if you are on the budget side. Man, by all means, you should get this one. Well, let's talk about Lord Thunder here. And uh, we're going to stay on this, but this kind of goes in with, are we moving closer to Bespin Luke release? So listen, Lord Thunder, thank you so much for the $5 super chat there, baby. I uh, I so, I so, so appreciate it. Thank you so much. And we're going to go ahead and talk about that there, um, Dante. Listen, uh, that was uh, the inside rumors that I heard. Um, that I was getting intel is that not only this figure was coming, but Bespin Luke was forthcoming the same year of this year. Now, there has been some mixed reports. Is it possible, Dante, that we actually, on the heels of this, actually get a Bespin Luke? What say you? Okay, so I actually had a conversation this morning with, with one of my sources in Hong Kong about, about all this release, right? Because mm. that person told me about... The, the dilemma Hatos had with her, they're going to announce Bespin look first or Mando look first. So he said, if they announce either or, the next one is going to come right after. Right. So now they announced Mando look. So, my, based on what I heard, we should see Mando look next. I'm sorry, Bespin look next. Whether it's going to be sooner rather than later, I don't know. But wow. we should see it sooner. Uh, it personally, me talking right now. You know, I think we should see it before the, the end of the year. Wow. I mean, I don't know if I can handle it. Can you all handle if we get a best fit, Luke? I don't know if I can handle any more coffee, baby. I'm just about bursting out of my seams right now with this. That would be insane. And that's the same intel that I'm getting everybody in there that, you know, the uh, the best fit, Luke is forthcoming before the end of the year. You have to wonder, should I consult with the Hot Toys Wizard? Should I ask the Hot Toys Wizard about Bespin Luke? And I think I will. I will reach out to the Hot Toys Wizard and see what he says. But look at this here. I'm already spilling my coffee thinking about Bespin Luke. Don't forget about Hoth Luke. Listen, I'm telling you. Hit the like button. How are you listening? Hoth Luke. Hoth Han. Tauntaun. Listen, forget about the blurg. Give us a Tauntaun, baby. All right, listen. 
hit the like button. Let them hear it. Borg Cube one of two says one battle damage dark trooper bust with lead light up function three lighting modes. Listen, okay. So now I take it back, Dante. I take it back, everyone. Is it possible the Dark Jedi, Ares Terrington, who serves up all the Star Wars Hot Toys talk, thinks that this deluxe version for $330 is worth it? And I say, yes, Dante, come on now, talk to me. It's yeah, coming with it. We, we just gonna we just were talking about this. The you know, the Bell Damage Trooper, you know, with with the with the light up <laughs> feature. So I think that's I, I have a feeling that that's what they're gonna do. Um, uh, you know, that will be actually pretty good. Um, you know, that they're gonna, uh, you know, improve that uh, bust and put the light up feature in it. Um, because it does look sick, though. Just think about it, right? Just, just remember, just think about having those red eyes popping up in color, you know, with some electric effects in the, in the body, right? That will be look, that, that will look sick. That will look sick. And I hope that they, uh, they listen to us. Howard Chan, if you're listening, please just call and just text me. We can have a conversation after this. All right. Well, listen. The Hot Toys Wizard is calling me. Let me let me let me get on the phone with him, Rex and Rex. Hot Toys Wizard, what's going on? Everyone's trying to talk about Best of Luke, <laughs> but we already know about that. <laughs> but we already know. Okay, that's good. <laughs> yeah. But what about? <laughs> he hung up on me. Well, he didn't tell me anything about Best of Luke. He wouldn't answer the question. He just keeps saying that Fennec is going to be released within the next two or three weeks. Fennec is tomorrow. <laughs> the Dawson's Wizard. If, if is it happens, a little you guys, bit too much blue spotska. <laughs> if it happens tomorrow, guys, you need to subscribe to my channel, all of you. Um, you don't know, Fennec, yes, you know, credit where it's due. You called it, you know, the the Boba Fett with the throne with Fennec. Everyone's like, ah, he's crazy. He's dreaming. He's dreaming too much. And then, boom, <laughs> Boba Fett with the throne. Fennec, we got like uh, 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 what's the name of that? Um, uh, uh Axe Wolves, uh, Axe Wolves, uh, Reeves. Uh, Reeves. We got Coban. Oh my god, like uh, you know, and and this is what I this is what we were talking about yesterday, Aries. I have a feeling that Hot Toys is gonna release every character from the Mandalorian, including the Frog Lady, and all of them. It's just a matter of time because everything is proven that it will sell, no matter the quantity, it will sell everything. Yeah, no, and I tell you what, a lot of the stuff over here, and I think we both called between between us a lot of stuff. You know, one thing that we were talking about, and I was talking about extensively before, you know, a lot of these releases, was that there there needed to be a, a balance, Dante, in 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 the Hot Toys releases for Star Wars, where they were giving us like. Um, we, we needed the epic legacy characters. Boba Fett is an epic original trilogy character he can be on the mandalorian he could be on the andor series he could be on the lando series he can be on um any of the the knights of the republic the Ac acolyte series whatever series i really can care less but the fact that boba fett from the original you know trilogy that's a figure that they came out with. And not only just a figure, oh, let's just put out Boba Fett because everyone likes Boba Fett. They took the time and they released an epic moment that had a lot more to do with than just a figure. But everyone's like, Star Wars is on the map, baby. Boba Fett is here. Boba Fett should have been in the sequels. But you know what? Boba Fett's here. And they're doing the same thing here. So I feel like the balance right now. You're talking about over the last few weeks, we get Boba Fett and Luke Skywalker. And, and I mean, come on. Ahsoka is coming about the same time next year, isn't it? Yes. So, yes, Ahsoka man, series. As I said in your chat before joining the, the stream, man, our walls are going to, we're going to be broke next year, man, for sure. <laughs> I'm telling you, man, with all these freaking releases. And, and, and it is about time that, I mean, Star Wars fans deserve some some love as well. I mean, we've been getting so, so much Marvel, which obviously they were ruling. And, you know, they were ruling, so credit where it's due, you know, with the Avengers Endgame and all that. Uh, a little love for DC, but now they're, you know, they're coming back slowly but surely with some DC. Star Wars, I mean, we, we you know, you were talking about this many times, Aries, about some OT love. Gave us more, you know, OT characters because, you know, it, it, it is time, right? Same thing with Bespin, I'm um, sorry. Yeah, Bespin Han, 
that that was teased, but it was never, you know, announced because you know Harrison Ford decided to break the leg live, and <laughs> but I mean, we it is just the, the right. This is a good time to be a Star Wars fan, and oh. this is a really uh, uh, for for people my age, your age that 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 grew up watching this uh, trilogy, uh, the original trilogy, um, and seeing Luke coming after decades. In the in the way he and you know he did the entrance the epic entrance at the end of the Mandalorian. I mean, a lot of people got hype and a lot of people, you know, went back to to their childhood when they were going to the movies to see Luke Skywalker to see the fight between Darth Vader and Luke, the Emperor Leia, Han in the Millennium Falcon. All those little moments from from your childhood, you know, it's just coming it's coming back again. So I'm I'm very happy with this. We definitely need more OT characters. Hopefully, we'll see more soon. Well, I'm telling you, I one one of the things that that's that's so joyous for me. You know, we we're talking about some of the other characters, and that now if they come out with Cosca Reeves, forget about Fennec, because everyone's going to go crazy with that because that goes with the throne. And I talked about that yesterday. I can't believe that we were just live and raw yesterday. But Hot Toys is making me go live and raw tonight, baby, with this Luke here. We're going to get to R2 in just a second because I'm getting so much. We have so much in the chat about R2. We're going to dive into this. Um, I have an idea on what's going to happen with 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 uh, with R2-D2. Um, but anyway, um, you know, they can give us the Frog Lady. They can go ahead and give us all these characters. Look, I really want a Grief Cargo. Um, and now you're talking about Casca, you're talking about Axe Wolves, and you're talking about Cobb Vanth. I mean, how much more excited are you, Dante, in even just thinking about those figures with the fact that you've got the big one right here? You've got the Boba Fett and Throne, you've got Ahsoka, and you've got this big one over here. You may not even get the Frog Lady, you may not get Cobb Vanth, you may not get this, but from my perspective, because I got the big, big shebang right here, I am so excited just about learning about these other figures. I think it's a great tool for them when they uh, to come out with this, and I think that they're going to come out with more Mandalorian figures now. They have to. I mean, very excited. Very excited. Uh, you know, we, we we pretty much gonna get everything. That's my hard feeling, and I hope I'm right. <laughs> you know, uh, that we're gonna get a bunch of uh, new figures that we haven't seen before from the Mandalorian. Because at this point, it makes sense. It makes perfect sense to see those characters because people will like it, and they don't have to produce. And I mentioned this before yesterday. They don't have to produce a Iron Man quantity for the Lady Frog or or, or Cobb Banth or any other character because. You know, they just can do a small quantity and it will sell quick. People will definitely buy it, right? Because you're going to have probably a, a decent amount of looks, decent amount of Mandalorians. So, you know, I, I, I'm very happy. I mean, I think this is, as I said before, a good time to be a Star Wars fan. I think there's more to come. I don't think this is the, the end of it. Maybe another version of R2-D2, maybe a, you know, Mandalorian R2-D2 version with a Grogu. You know, at this point, Anything, anything is possible with the Mandalorian. Well, a couple things in here. And so first, Vanth, only if it includes a face sculpt. Listen, it's got to come with a face sculpt there, Bora Q, because, because that would be up there in blunders like, like Darth Maul being killed off at the end of the Phantom Menace and, and Luke being killed off in The Last Jedi. Give, releasing Vanth without a face sculpt. I think would rank up there for me. So I, I really think that they're going to give the face sculpts with that. And uh, Denobi, Denobi 2 is in the house. My man, the pain our wallets will feel next year will yield screams that will be heard throughout the galactic systems. <laughs> Listen, you know, you got some stuff in here. Um, you know, Denobi brings that up and someone in there goes, I got to get a second job for next year. <laughs> you know, I mean, yeah, it's a good point. Let's see what, 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 uh, Babar Khan needs to find the second job for next year. Um, it's it's kind of you know amusing when you think about these figures. Here's what I'm doing, and so and here's why I'm really so glad that they're giving us a Dark Trooper crush because I don't have to buy the Dark Trooper now. I, I did say I'm thinking about. It. I'm still thinking about getting one, but there's so many other figures that I am gonna have to bypass. You know, I'm definitely getting this. I'm definitely getting Ahsoka with Grogu. I already have that order. I'm definitely getting Boba in the throne. You know, and there's certain figures that they're going to come out with here. Like if they come out with that, 
any of the Mandalorians that have head sculpts like Casca or Axe Wolves or uh, Macabre Vanth Dante, I'm going to get them. But that doesn't mean that I'm going to get some of the other figures I was thinking of getting. Now, for me, I don't pre-order um, all of these figures. I've already said it a million times. I just don't tie up my money that way. I might reserve one, you know, like, uh, uh, you know, in a local comic shop or like, oh, yeah, I'm going to get plenty of them. Pete, oh, no problem with that. Just let me know that that type of thing. So I may do that where it really doesn't, you know, cost me anything, but um, no. And as long as I'm not like, if they're putting it down on the list, then I'm, then I'm committed to it. Right. But sometimes if it's just casual, I, I just don't. So for me, it's just, I feel like I'm in the cereal aisle, Dante. And it's like, oh, look, there's Frosted Flakes. There's Frosted Flakes with uh, Applewood bacon flavor. Oh, look, there's coffee. There's coffee with some hazelnut. There's coffee with some Applewood bacon. I feel like everything comes with Applewood bacon now. I don't, I don't quite get it. Um, but, but anyway, you know, oh, look, I got, I got, uh, you know, uh, Golden Grams or I got, uh, you know, Cheerios or I've got all this selection. So I feel like now I actually like all this because I don't have to, I, I can just get what I really want. I really want Boba Fett in the throne. I really want Fedek to go with it. I really want this Luke Skywalker. I don't necessarily need all these side characters, being honest with you. They're great. And I'm excited for them. I don't necessarily need every trooper or every Mandalorian or every figure from here or there. I'm going to have to pick and choose. But if anything, I'm actually more excited about it. I think looking at it from that perspective, it's kind of like, oh, my goodness, I really feel um, so you know, overwhelmed. How do I buy all these? Well, look, does the Dark Jedi Ares Terrington, listen, I'm going to bring this up. Does the Dark Jedi Ares Terrington go live on a Monday night with every stormtrooper or every release? I don't. I just don't. And that probably means I'm probably not going to buy the figure, even though it's Star Wars. So for me, sometimes I almost feel like, oh, I want to get a hot toy figure. I guess I'll get this one, even though I'm not really into it. But it looks pretty cool, even though I didn't have a straight. This one I'm going to get. Oh, that means I take the other ones <laughs> off my list. Selection, baby. Come on, Dante. Give me your take on that. Uh, actually, it was funny because you know when when I saw that you were going live, and because I was have I, I was having some thoughts. Should I just go live? I said no, no. I'm just gonna do the figure preview, mm -hmm. and I'm just gonna watch because I usually don't don't do because of my of my job. But it happened to be that I left a little bit early today, so and then, that's why I got my popcorn to watch your show. <laughs> so um, and then when you asked me to join, I was like, oh, perfect. You know, I don't have to stress myself running the show because guys, believe me. It is behind the scenes. There is work, you know. When you run shows like this, live streams, Aris knows it's it's a it's lot. It's a lot of work. It's a lot of work, you know, reading and and making sure the even though this today's a lot of fun, we're just kind of wigging this. <laughs> it is. It is. Yeah. Seriously. So it it is fun. Um, man, I, I'm just I'm just I'm just happy, man. And and I think somebody mentioned uh, on the chat. Um, that uh, you know, besides the characters that we mentioned, like the the frog lady, and uh, 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 you know, Mayfield is gonna be probably the next one. You know, um, who else? What else? What else? I, I think I read something here. Uh, oh, um, Cardoon. Uh, I, I think oh, what's his name? Don was mentioning this yesterday, right? About the possibility of having Cardoon back for season three. You know, I, I don't know. I keep hearing some of that stuff. You know, you watch some of these other channels. This one's coming back. This character going to recast it with a different actress. They're going to do this. They're going to put someone else in. Um, I have no idea. I think I that have no idea. Uh, I, I'm not getting into any of the politics of it uh, from a market perspective or release perspective. I mean, obviously, if 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 she's back, they're probably going to release that figure because her figure oh, yeah. goes for. I mean, yeah. right? I mean, they'll probably release the figure quickly. Right, right, and 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 just going to the topic, you know, in, in my case, I want to have the entire Mandalorian line, so I'm gonna get pretty much all the Mandalorian figures, just because personal preference. If I have to sell something else to make space, you're gonna be damn right. I'm gonna sell it to make the space, because I, I just love the show. You know, that show brought me back to to my, you know, my, my nostalgia, like when I used to love Star Wars with a, you know, with the with the pre, with the with the original trilogy, right? Uh, I actually enjoy the the prequels as well. The the the, the sequels was, you know, the, I, I kind of like the 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 the, um, the Force Awakens, but then I wasn't that happy. I, I love the the Palpatine when he came back. Though. That was my, that's why I watched the movie because I wanted to see Palpatine back. But anyway, you know, this is a line that, um, you know, we're gonna see a lot of characters coming, 
and well, and is yeah, coming. yeah. And, and, and with Favreau and Filoni at the helm, with this line, a lot of characters coming, we're going to be seeing a lot of Luke Skywalker, Boba yeah. Fett, Ahsoka Tano types. Obviously, in spinoff series, you're going to be seeing stuff from the expanded universe. You're going to see Grand Admiral Thrawn. You're going to see Ezra Bridger. You're probably going to see, um, you know, so many of these of these characters. Someone mentioned earlier in the show, Bosk, Bosk, Bosk. You ain't kidding, Bosk is coming, baby. What about Denger? What about IG? Well, forget about IG-88. He's definitely come. But look what's on the screen and get to these couple of points. Some of us bringing up the quarters. So here is, ladies and gentlemen, and Dante, your third figure, not including deluxe and non-deluxe, just talking about a figure release, okay? This is your third figure that is scheduled for the third quarter of October uh, and through December of next year, for the fourth quarter, excuse me. You have this figure. You have the Pedro Pascal head sculpt, the chrome-plated mm -hmm. Mandalorian. That's two. And you have the Boba Fett with the throne. That's three. So you've got three epicness characters scheduled for the fourth quarter of next year. And the only three figures, and I guess six figures, if you want to go ahead and count the deluxe, non-deluxe. But I'm talking about release. You're either going to get one or the other, typically. So you got three figures for the third quarter. And what was I saying, Dante? That they still need to fill up about two or three more figures, probably, for that quarter. And they still have a couple for the third quarter next year. They haven't even put anything out for 2023 yet. And people are wondering when are they going to come out with the Costco? When they're going to come out with the Cobb Vanth? Or when when is when when are all these that they tease? What about this the super battle droid? What about um this and that? Well, you you've got to fill in. You still got more to fill in in the third quarter. You got the fourth quarter, and you got the whole first half of 2023. Right. They've got to fill it up now. They're not going to wait. They're not going to release these in nine months. They're not going to wait till March next year. <laughs> one figure that I can see, you know, you know, one obviously when we get Fennec and and uh, you know Bo-Katan and I'm sorry, not Bo-Katan, uh, Cosca Reeves and and Cobb Banth and all those characters, those probably should be Q4 next year, right? But one one figure that I think is going to be now more than ever, I have a strong feeling, and you mentioned these errors before. That, that is going to be announced. I'm just going to say it. I think it's going to be announced before the end of the year. I think it's going to be Windu. I don't know why I've been having that feeling that I we have the same are feeling. probably going to see Maze Windu before the end of the year for either Q1 2023 or the last figure that we were looking for for Q4 2022. So, well, let know. me tell you why I, 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 I got that feeling. Um, <clears throat> Two, and I don't know what you're. I <clears throat> and trust me, if I know something, sorry to interrupt, Aries. If I know something, I will definitely tell you guys. This is just my heart, my 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 gut feeling that for some reason I don't know why I think that Windu is is coming, is coming. Well, I think I think the reason, and I want to bring this up on the screen. Um, and I can't wait. Luke's just been up for hour. When they update that side, he'll be number one. I really think that this Django Fett is going to be coming early. I really, really, really do. I put this up on the screen. Is it possible that if this Django Fett gets released over the next four months, Dante, is it possible that right on the heels of the final production photos, even before it gets to Sideshow, that we actually get that base window that you're feeling in your gut because I'm feeling the force too, baby. Yes, and not only that, I have a feeling that this Django Fed is going to be released by December or before, yeah. the, end of, before yeah. the end of the year. I think this one here is going to be earlier release. As soon as Rex comes out, this guy is going to come out. In, I mean, not like back to back, but you know, you know what I'm saying, like this year. Yeah. And I think Rex should be out in, in, in the next couple of weeks, probably. That's what yeah. I heard. Well, and the other thing that I heard on that, too, I don't know what your source said, but I had inside information that Rex is coming in the next two weeks, but that you're going to get Ahsoka right after that, like two, three weeks later. Clone I don't know Wars. if you've heard anything, but I heard that on Ahsoka. Wars. I heard that as well. Clone Wars. Clone you heard Wars, that, yeah. too. Yeah, but so no, you're from here, my, folks. No, no from my source that tells me, like, pretty much all these releases that he's been telling me, but uh, it was another source that told me, but I have to confirm that. But I heard the rumor that, yes, that she should be coming right after Rex. Or vice versa. Who knows? Because remember, Hattos is the one that makes all this happening, you know? 
Well, not look Dante, at what, not Ares. <laughs> look at <laughs> the Hot Toys Wizard. Look at what Cobra's collection just put in. Thank you for the $10 super chat, baby. I've never pre-ordered in the past, but with all the recent excitement, I had to. Special edition, Deluxe Luke and um, Jack Snyder's Snack Snyder. the Cyborg Baby Spill the Coffee. Yes. Um, absolutely. I mean, it's very exciting. And when you go ahead and make, make drops like that, I feel like it almost entices people that figures like Quill. You know, um, it, 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 Quill to me is more exciting. I love Nick Dalton and I love that character from the first season. But I almost feel like because if they drop this Luke that I'm actually more excited about everything else Mandalorian. It's not so much about the Mandalorian. I mean, the Mandalorian I'm excited about because I'm going to get an Ahsoka series. We're going to get a Ahsoka series. I mean, does that sink in? Uh, we're going to get a Ahsoka series. I know. Come, come yeah, on, everybody. It's, it's in there. You know, we're going to get we're going to get Obi-Wan series. Wait, things going to spawn off of that. We're going to get Andros. We're going to get a Lando series, it. baby. I'm going to need a Colt 45 for that <laughs> and, and, and drink that maybe with, with my coffee. Come on. <laughs> You're going to need an extra towel paper to clean all this spilled <laughs> coffee all over your desk. Uh, Let's talk about R2. <laughs> um, everyone's been asking me about R2. So here's the thing. I will say this, and then we'll get Dante's perspective. Thank you so much, Cobra's Collection. It is. I see so many people here um, pre-ordering on day one for this, and it's really about the moment. I'll keep bringing it up. But, um, yeah, yeah, thank you so much for that super chat. But um, I'm happy the R2 did not come with the deluxe version. And they would have had to have given it to us at least, at the very least, as good as the Force Awakens version. So you can take that 300 and thirty dollar price tag, and it's probably going to be six hundred dollars plus, right, Dante? Yeah, Ron. Yeah, if you included R two D two with Luke, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, around that. So here's here's a call from the Dark Jedi, Ares Terrington, who serves up all the Star Wars hot toys talk. <laughs> Remember, I told you all a little bit ago to expect the Droid two pack. It's going to come one or the other. I always thought we were going to get a C-3PO and R2-D2 two-pack. Um, but I'm actually, I also mentioned this before. R5-D4 was in the Mandalorian. And can you see a two-pack like they did with that BB-8, Dante, and BB-9E, which is a two-pack. And they had the little, the little, uh, you know, mouse droid. Mm -hmm. R5-D4 was in season two. R2-D2 was in season two. They could even add in a couple of those little, what do you call those, those little, uh, um, oh, I forgot those little droids from the Phantom Medicine, you gonk them on the head. And they oh, and they, 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 yeah, they could do, they could even give you the gonk droid. I think he was in there. I actually can see them doing this. What do you think? Well, I, I actually now, based on what I've seen so far, <laughs> um, maybe what they can do is maybe they can do two separate releases. They can do R2D2 by itself, Mandalorian version. And they can actually do a C-3PO, right, version as well. So they can have two different versions, so one each, right? Um, obviously, the, the perfect combination will be if they do a, a, a New Hope, right. R2-D2, yeah. and C-3PO. That will be perfect. I mean, a lot of people, including myself, will definitely buy it, even though I have an R2-D2 already. But guess what? This one is going to go with my Mando look anyways. So, you know, so that will be perfect, you know. And I don't understand why, you know, they... they Hato is knowing that a lot of people, you know, have been waiting desperately to get a C three PO. They haven't even announced anything. I think they teased they teased it a few years ago, but that's it. You know, I think they well, need to that, pull that the is trigger. absolutely that's going to come like out of nowhere. We're going to wake up one morning like with this. Oh, we knew man. this figure was coming, but I felt like with this Luke figure, everybody that you know, it was kind of like Hot Toys almost played this. Let, let's give Hot Toys credit. They almost played it the same way that Favreau and Filoni played it in the season finale. Come on, everybody. Think about it. Think about this. Because you saw the X-Wing coming, but there wasn't a mention of Luke. And when they released the Dark Trooper, there was, there was no mention of Luke, but you saw this Luke in the background. And then you saw all these releases like Boba Fett, and you saw Ahsoka and Grogu, okay, a moment. 
uh, Boba Fett on the throne with Fennec. Okay, a moment. All these releases at Sideshow Con. Okay, moments. They're kind of giving you the breadcrumbs. It's kind of like Favreau and Filoni. You know, they're he, you know he's going through the corridors of Muff Gideon ship Luke Skywalker. You don't see his face, but you see the uh, green lightsaber, and he has a black cloak. So you have a little bit of doubt, right? Right. And then it's kind of like you're, you're knowing that this figure's coming. It's anticipation, baby. And then all of a sudden, they drop this. And I got to give a, lo a lot of credit to Hot Toys. I feel like it's just the right time. It's just the right moment. Look, it made me change my schedule for tonight, baby. But, you know, you, 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 you do have to wonder um, about some of this stuff here, Dante. I mean, I thought that they did a really good job with that. They did, and they kept it a secret very well because usually when we when when my source tells me something is coming up, I, I tease it. And I, but this one, I mean, we knew that was about to happen. We didn't know that it's going to be this soon, you know. Um, it, it, normally, I will know something, but nothing. It was silent. So I think they kept this release in in in. I mean, even though we would we knew that this is going to happen, they kept it in secret in the sense of knowing when it's going to be announced. So that's a good thing. I mean, could this be a possibility of what I said before, waking up one morning and you see Maze Windu? Or you see, I don't know. C-3PO. Or C-3PO. Uh, because I said this before, Padme is still coming. So I don't think Padme oh, is, is just ignored, forgotten. This year? And this year? This year. I'm that's, what, that's, that's what I was told. So oh, I'm gonna boy. Stick, I'm going to stick with my source because he's been right so far. In every announcement, when I said about the Chorus and Guard, about the Fabo First, about Cyborg, Mark One, and all those figures, I'm going to stick with that. You know, I'm going to stick so with that. So, Love is Blind, did you? So, yeah. Anyway. Kind of, kind of. <laughs> I mean, it, it, the guy was right, like five out of five. I mean, you have to get some credit, right? Like, you have to kind of like, okay, all right, I'm just going to stick with you, man. Uh, but yeah, so that one, that one is, is coming this year. Best Pin Luke is coming this year as well. Uh, you know, it's Rex not a Carfax watch well, Darth Raven. Is that coming this year, baby? Oh, that, no, no. <laughs> Come on. I actually I, I would I would I would love it. I would like, oh my goodness gracious. If they do a Darth Raven exotic Carfax official channel, I will absolutely, no matter what day it is, I will do a live show. And if I've already did a live show, I'll probably come on and do a live show. You know, if someone could actually wake me up two, three in the morning. <laughs> but um I, I I you know it's kind of funny. Dante, let, let's talk about this for a minute. It, it, You see like all these venomized, venomized Groot, venomized this, venomized that, all the special stuff with Marvel. And now when you sort everything out, Star Wars, uh, you know, Hot Toys wise, you see how hot Star Wars is. They're going to be getting into some of this stuff, Dante. They're not going to not do it. Star Wars is hot. And and they're hot right now without it. They don't even have, they don't have a Loki show out. They don't have WandaVision out. They don't have Falcon and Winter Soldier out. Come on, they have the Mandalorian, and they, of course, they had the Bad Batch, an animated series out. Okay, I mean, I think they're going to release some of these figures. I think so too. I think so too because, it, you know, it is about time that we get more Star Wars figures because you know we understand how the market works, right? Asia is more Marvel. The U.S. is more Star Wars. You know, that's the reason why they don't have a lot of quantities in Hong Kong for Star Wars figures, depending on the character, of course. So, you know, for 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 Star Wars fans, this is this is huge. I still believe that we're going to see more coming. This is not over yet. I think the best is for last. And uh, and I have a strong feeling again. I'm going to repeat myself that the window is next. You know, I have a strong feeling that they're going to actually finally announce the Citripia one. Uh, because a lot of people want that. Now, if we go further, if we want to dream a little bit more, and at this point, who cares? I, th you know, maybe Grievous, man. Maybe Hot Toys Grievous. Maybe, and I mentioned this before as well. Hot Toys uh, uh, Java the Hat. You know. Yeah, so and you know who else not? brought that up too? You mentioned it before. I've heard uh, um, Denobi bring that up on his uh, on his show last week when he was going through the. Andor Fa uh, Forest, which is a phenomenal, and I got I got to finish watching that. My wife and I um, were watching that for a while. It was a great episode. But yeah, I can see a Jabba. I can absolutely see 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 a Jabba uh, for sure. Maybe another, or or maybe Hot Toys, um, Big Fortuna. You know, 
That would be really, really interesting. Would they actually give us uh, the bed? Would they give us <laughs> Jar Jar Binks when you mentioned yesterday? <laughs> you know what's funny? I would actually buy. I'm so excited. And I would buy anyway. I mean, just look at this on the screen. Isn't this sick, y'all? This is sick. And this sick. lights up, by the way. And look at Luke Skywalker sitting there. Are you kidding? All right. I have just said it. I am getting two of this figure. I am getting two of this figure because I need to display one with this dark trooper droid and then i need to display one in, in in an area um with uh you know din jar with a chrome plated mandalorian so there's another figure i was gonna get that i'm probably gonna have to take off the list on something i'm gonna have to go through and say okay i'm not buying you now but um oh this is sick yeah, this sick. is absolutely crazy looking and i think this is just a start bespin han i mean uh, excuse me bespin luke this year yes pad me this year Yes, Mace Windu this year, both Dante and I are feeling it for sure. Django coming out early, yes. Ahsoka coming out early, yes. Rex, how hyped are people going to be for Rex Anakin. in the next couple of weeks when that gets officially put out? Wow. I was, I was told Clone Wars Anakin also is probably going to be uh, sooner or later. So, you know, just, just keep an eye on those figures, you know. Those, those are going to... You know, same way we were complaining about pushing back figures for a longer time. I think some of them are going to be releasing earlier. And don't be so don't be surprised if you see the um, the stormtrooper commander coming earlier. Don't be surprised if you see the um, when is the transport trooper um, um, supposed to release? Is that next year? I think those are all one? first quarter of next year. Transport Let's troopers. Let's take a look real quick. <clears throat> Let's see if I can go ahead and pull it up real quick here. Um, let's go to <clears throat> everything just Star Wars. I'll pull it up while we're while we're talking. Um, January 2022. So don't be surprised if you see these guys okay. between January and March 2022. So don't be surprised if you start seeing these figures because it is based on the information we got. It's much easier for Hot Toys to release these type of figures that they already have the molds. Like for example, the Stormtrooper Commander or the artillery stormtrooper, maybe the short trooper, those figures that are maybe due in the Q, you know, Q1 next year, probably going to be pushed back to be released earlier. So don't be surprised if you see it before the end of the year, all these troopers. All these yes. Troopers. Master Emily has a point. What is enough, Aries? After three months, you change your pose and you have a new collection. <laughs> it is a good point. It is a good point. I'll think about it. I'm just so pumped up right now there, uh, Master Emily. But look, look what's loading finally. It's not broken anymore. The deluxe page on Sideshow um, and $330. Um, wow. Wow. And how many in there, let me know in the chat, are going to go ahead and get the uh, the exclusive version, which is going to come. It looks like that they, they just did that with another figure, um, Dante. Which one was that that comes with the two? Uh, the throne. Boba Fett and the throne. So if you ordered that and you pre-ordered that from Sideshow during Sideshow Con, you get the two um, uh, holograms. And with this one, the exclusive, you get the Moff Gideon light cruiser hologram right. and the hollow projector. So how many in the chat care um, about that? Let me know. Do you care about that um, at all, um, uh, Dante? I don't really see in the well, secondary market, uh, which is what I specialize in, really any difference between DX16 you know, there's a special edition with something there and not, it's the same thing. Well, th simply because this is a um, same price. <laughs> it is same price for some tiny accessory. It's not like you're going to get a, you know, one you're going to get the Dark Trooper, the other one you're going to get, you know, it, it, it is it is a small accessory. So, you know, I don't mind, but I'm going to get the special edition for review purposes, of course. <laughs> now, is this true? Is it... <laughs> Oh, I went to put this up. The collector, same price. I'm getting it. So Brolio says this: Is this true? The exclusive Boba Fett is on wait list. Wow, I didn't know that. Is that true? Or is that is is that a prediction? Um, let me uh, let me actually go to it. Oh my goodness, is it really on wait list? Does anybody know? I'm just checking. Brolio right knows. I'm checking it. I'm checking it, Brolio. I gotta no, see this. No, it is. It is the 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 the, the, the Boba Fett the um, the fortieth anniversary. Oh, I thought he was talking about the uh, the, the 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 one with the, the uh, throne. 
The one with the throne for the um, exclusive. Oh, yeah. We listed full. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. It is. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Wow. Wow. That's crazy. Wow. Well, so is it possible, Dante? Since Brolio gave us this news, is it possible that this Luke Skywalker exclusive is going to go waitlist? What say you? <laughs> Well, the good thing is I actually, you know, there's only, I don't, again, as I said before, I don't pre-order, I don't normally pre-order figures because I can get them from, from my source in Hong Kong. But in this one in particular, because remember, Aries, when the Boba Fett two-pack was announced and, and I said that this is probably going to be sold out by April. Obviously, it didn't happen, right? Because I'm not an expert. I'm just, it just was my prediction, right? I can be wrong. By all means, it's fine. But then, I th then I, I thought about it, and I saw that they were giving you like a few days to to order the the exclusives one. So I said, you know what? I'm just gonna pre-order this one just because I love Boba Fett, and because I wanna have I wanna have two of this. And people are probably thinking, why? Because I wanna display one with without the helmet, uh, and one with the helmet next to um, a Fennec. So that's the reason why I pre-ordered that one. So yeah, it is it is waitlisted full. It comes with two additional holograms, so it really is not a deal breaker. You're not missing anything special, to be honest with you. Now, if you're missing the throne, then obviously you're like home. That's, yeah, and a couple you know, of people are saying in the chat too that hey, they put that timer on it, guys, and and that's why I went on waitlist. That's true. I mean, it's kind of. Do you feel like it's a gimmick with those two little holograms? Yeah, it is. It, it's, it's like a gimmick. It yeah, a gimmick. I, I agree. But it's kind of interesting when I wait list. <laughs> yeah, it, it is actually pretty interesting because if Hot Toys decide to do this for every every figure that is announced, like a limit of pre-orders or whatever, maybe you're gonna start seeing more wait list, you know, wait listed items. Wow, well, look at this! You Still know? 164 watching, no drop off, and you and I are just kind of, kind of just having it all, all blast here. Oh, uh, that that's amazing! Please this hit that fun. like button, everybody, so Howard Chan can give us Mace Windu. So Howard, Howard Chan, Chan, Chan like can button. come on, let's go! <laughs> come on! I'm just putting up here links in the house. Hey Aries, I got my Luke um, on pre order. Um, there was another one that I wanted to put up over here. This was very interesting. So I'm going to answer this question. Then I'm going to let Dante um, answer this question right here. Jake Barrett says, what's better, repaint Boba or Mando Luke at Aries? Oh, baby. Come on. Come on. Listen, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell you, it's kind of like I have two cups. I have a cup here and I have another cup and they collide together and I'm spilling coffee over both of them. Luke Skywalker is my absolute favorite Star Wars character of all time, Jake Barrett. So I, as much as I love that Boba, uh, as much as I love Darth Vader, I do, I do love Darth Vader, baby. And I love Boba Fett. I love Star Wars. I mean, Darth Vader is right there. Oh, he's right there. Boba's right there. Come on. But Luke, Luke, Luke takes it. Luke takes it. And it's about the moment for me. Yeah, I don't even care. I could look at like, well, what about the repaint of Boba and this intricacy on his shoulder? And I could care less. They captured the moment from the Mandalorian. And like someone said in the chat earlier, Boba Fett is 1A. That's the extra cherry. The cherry on the top. But Luke Skywalker, Dante, for me, that's the whole cake. Oh, no. Luke, Luke is here. I mean, let's be honest. Luke is in a whole new level. Anything Luke is just, I want it. Um, yeah, it's going to be Luke and, and Boba Fett. And Boba Fett is a beautiful figure, man. I'm telling you, like the painting and, and everything that that figure comes with is a must-have if you're a Star Wars collector. You have to have that figure if you're a collector, for sure. But if you ask me which one, if, if I have to choose, my budget says, okay, which one can you afford now, Luke or Boba Fett? I'm going to go with Luke. I'm going to go with Luke. It's just because, I mean, you know, we, we grew up watching these characters. Now there is back to life in, 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 a, in a way that we always wanted to see, you know. So this Mandalorian is basically how the sequels would have been, right? Seeing Luke coming this way, you know, with, with more maybe Princess Leia action and Han Solo action. I mean, that would be perfect, man. But now with the technology, how's everything going? I would not be surprised if they type, they kind of like, redo the, the 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 sequels and i i think i don't know if somebody said it or or, or i read it somewhere that they want to do a they want to erase the sequels 
and they want to make a new trilogy, but kind of like a shows, like a Disney Plus shows, you know, with Luke, with Leia, with Han Solo. I don't know if it's true or not, but that's what I read. That well, you good. know what I think that they got to do, and and it's so so it's such a wonderful time to be to be a Star Wars fan. I think that they're going to leave the sequels the way that they are, and they're going to find a way to have an alternate universe, a um, like 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 they do in the in the uh, uh, Marvel, like an alternate Earth, or like they do in the DC in the Arrowverse. The you universe? have you know um, Battle on Elseworlds. I mean, just like they brought back the Superman from Smallville, they went to a different Earth. Yeah. Wouldn't you love it? They can keep the sequels just the way that they were. But then, you know, on another galaxy or another Earth, if you will, another timeline, it's different. And Darth Maul was the 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 baddie in you know That's the sequels, mind. like you know, and Boba Fett was in there. One of the ideas that that George Lucas had, and maybe Ray's in there, but she's actually you know dark side Ray, and and Luke doesn't die, baby. And Grogu is the chosen one or something right. like that. And he's been, you know, I, can you see a lot of this stuff happening? You know, you have one timeline here and then they could actually go back in the timelines and borrow this one from this timeline and borrow this one from that timeline and go meet this new threat that everybody needs to kind of club together with. I mean, I think the possibilities are endless. And you have to think, Dante, they, they've built theme parks. How many, how much money? millions and millions and hundreds of million dollars and billions of dollars that Disney is bumping in to Star Wars. This works in Marvel. This works in DC. Right. They're gonna do this in Star Wars. What say you? I think they're gonna. I don't think it's gonna be anytime soon though. I'm not I'm not, to work I'm, it. and I hope I hope I'm a hundred not a hundred a thousand percent wrong. Um, maybe not, I mean, maybe in another few years, maybe in another like five years, they're gonna decide to do something like that, uh, or maybe they're just gonna start doing shows that is gonna, you know, walk us through that particular event, right? How everything changes, timelines, and everything. They only sat, I mean, if they need to do something, if they eventually, if they are gonna do it. They will need to do it now because, you know, for Mark Hamill still alive, Harrison Ford still alive, you know, Gary Fisher passed away, unfortunately. But they will have to find a way of doing it, you know. And, and yeah, I agree with you, Aries. I don't think Luke, you know, needed to die in the in the sequels. I, I think it would be perfect if he's just alive or maybe he dies at the end fighting the Emperor and, and, and him killing the Emperor, not Rey, you know, those things. But it is done. It yeah, is done. It's think, nothing, it's nothing we can do but just hope that they change something, right? Well, and I think Equan is right, and I think you're right. If you follow history, they aren't going to erase the sequels. No, I totally agree. They're not. That's why I was saying in the beginning, I don't think they're erasing anything. I think what they're going to do, they have to explain Grogu. Um, they're going to have to... And, and, you know, single songwriter is bringing this up over here. Ahsoka is the key player in the different universes. And they're talking about that one, uh, you know, that episode in, in, in Rebels where you have Ezra and that whole stuff. And my, my daughters are more up on that on, 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 than, than I am. Um, but I, I'm telling you right now that um, is it possible that this whole Ahsoka series is not just to give us Ahsoka fanfare, but it's actually the start of the unlocking of the key, using the key to unlock a whole other universe for Star Wars? And I say, yes, they don't change the sequels. But what you do is you you have an alternate timeline, kind of like how, you know, you, you ha it's, it's, it's an alternate universe or whatever way you want to call it. And then all of a sudden, there's so many possibilities um, in, in Star Wars. And the biggest thing for me is it would be, you, you can't just explain Grogu, oh, yes, well, you know, Grogu didn't die by Kylo Ren, and Grogu just was over here, and he was just waiting, and, and no, that doesn't work. That That's lame. It's a different timeline, and I think that the Ahsoka series is a possible that her and Thrawn have something to do with that here, Dante. I mean, it might. They might introduce something. Yeah, it might. It might be something there. You know, we have this show coming, so maybe they can explore that option. You know, maybe something happened. I don't know. But, you know, th there's a lot going on. There's a lot of explanation, right? What happened with Grogu? What happened with Ahsoka? I mean, we know Ahsoka was 
dead, right? Because at the end we can hear the the, the voice, you know. Uh, uh, but, yeah. But what what happened? You know. You know what's funny about this? I'm gonna I'm gonna print this up on the screen, and my daughters actually talk about this all the time. They're huge, huge Star Wars and huge Marvel fans. And I mean, my 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 one daughter, my youngest, is an absolute insane Spider Man fan. In, I mean, loves Spider Man, and uh, <clears throat> uh, she talks all the time on you know which one's better, Tom Holland or uh, or uh, who's the other guy, Tobey Maguire. But they talk about Star Wars Marvel crossover, and you have to wonder with the whole thing about Grogu. Just think about like Guardians of the Galaxy. I could actually see someday. I don't know how they would do it, but I could actually almost see where there would be some type of crossover, Guardians of the Galaxy type, where you go into the Star Wars universe a little bit. Can you see this? I mean, you're talking, look at how much money Endgame made. Think about Infinity War and Endgame, Dante. I want you to think about the money. Think about the money The Force Awakens made. So you're making $2 billion a movie. You want to make $4 billion? <laughs> Damn, Go ahead man. and cross it over. Is it possible? Come on. What do you think? I mean, man, I don't know. I, $4 honestly, billion. Dollars. Man, I, I don't know. I mean, it will have to it's be weird. But it it will happen. have to be done. It will have to be done in a, such a perfect way that you're going to see like, oh, okay, now it makes sense. I don't know. I don't think so. Right now, if you ask me, I don't think so. They're gonna do something like that, just because we have in the distant hardcore... future. I think I feel like they're still fixing Star Wars. Yeah, I and if they do so. this alternate timeline and then some years yeah. pass, I could actually see this. I don't know how it would happen, right? But I, how much do you think that they've talked about it? Let me ask you this: in 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 closed boardroom doors, has this subject ever passed a Disney executive? Oh yeah, or Felonia Frank? Come on, what do you think? Yes oh, yeah. or no? Oh yeah. yeah, yeah, it has. Yeah, it's every option, bad. every option, was, every option to make money. And, and whatever you know, maybe they say, "Oh, we should bring, we should do some type of Mandalorian show and have a like a like a kind of like a Baby Yoda type of character." And maybe you know why not we include Ahsoka or you know what? Let's let's put Luke killing some bunch of droids. <laughs> oh, that's crazy. Let's yeah, let's do it. Boom, <laughs> Mandalorian. So oh yeah, <laughs> they they had they had conversations about crazy crazy stuff. They have a, a group of people that are really super hardcore Star Wars fans, and and you know they can explore all the ideas, all the possibilities, and make a show. That's why we've seen these shows: Ahsoka, uh, Obi Wan. Maybe in the future, not the distant. And I think this was uh, uh, spoken before: the Luke Skywalker show, you know, with with Sebastian Stan as as young Luke, which to me, I can see him doing that uh, I, I can see him doing Luke's role rather than casting someone else because I think he does look like Mark Hamill when he was younger. And yeah, but he it, does. Right? <laughs> and if they do a show w which is between, you know, before The Force Awakens, right, in that 5 to 10 or 30-year period, I mean, he's perfect for that. You know, he's perfect for that. Just, you know, teach him some mannerisms or, or you know, the, the style, the hair, all those things. Yeah, man, you can definitely have him as, as Luke and I will be a very happy with that. Hey, listen, Dante, look at Jake. Jake Jake Barrett says, don't cross the stream. Hey, Jake, <laughs> this is all I got to say to you, baby. Who are you going to call? The Hot Toys Wizard. Da, 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 da. Anyway, oh, my goodness gracious. I am so, so pumped up. Who are you going to call? Ghostbusters. Oh, you know where man. I can see them doing this crossover? It, it would almost be what idea they could have once they keep putting out all these shows. I could see maybe one character. One character in some Guardians of the Galaxy, uh, kind of like, I don't know if it would be Ahsoka or something or, or Luke or something. Like the whole movie is Marvel. And then just in one scene, in this one thing or for or for one thing, you know, you get the Star Wars character. I could absolutely, absolutely see that where it's not like a whole like end game. Let's get them all together. And, and, and I don't I mean, I do see that maybe years, years down the road, but I could see them dabbing a little bit to see what the reaction is. I mean, how much could it hurt? You know what's funny? Um, Indiana Jones, right? I remember which movie it was that they teased. Uh, they put they put R2-D2 and C-3PO in one of the encryptions in the walls or something like that. Please, guys, correct me if I'm wrong. Um, so, you know, <laughs> I don't know if that that's how they want to do it, but 
you know i, I think i think is 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 um too too wild right now to develop that right let's you know, I, I think what they want to focus right now is to make sure we have a good shows like The Mandalorian, which was a hit. Is the first this is something in history, guys. This is the first Star Wars live show. You know, you know, just ignore the the, the Clone Wars, which is animated. This is a live show of the Star Wars, you know, characters. So this is this is huge. You know, this is gonna go in history as the first show who pretty much killed it. And and because of this, we have we're gonna have Ahsoka. We're gonna have the Anakin. I'm, I'm sorry, the Obi Wan. Potentially Luke. The Book of Boba Fett, and so many things. I mean, it, it's just there's so much they can do, and they can actually do a Clone Wars live action as well. If you think about it, right? Maybe. Yeah. You know, because you know they can. <laughs> Crazy. Anything. Look, we still we still have a hundred and fifty in oh here. If you have it, everybody. Please hit that like button, 153 now. Um, I so appreciate the support on this impromptu stream from the Dark Jedi Ares Terrington serving up all the Star Wars hot toys. Co Listen, coffee, coffee brewing everywhere, baby. My water. Are you kidding me? Oh, my goodness. So we're already two hours and 15 minutes in. Um, uh, uh, you know, to this, I, I am, you know, my closing thoughts on this Luke Skywalker, you know, Dante, I am over the moon. I am just as excited as when the Boba Fett and Throne got released. I'm probably, I'm a little more excited with this one than I even am with the Boba Fett and the Throne. They absolutely, in my opinion, nailed the CGI likeness from the finale that's what i'm going to say there and it's exactly what i'm looking for is to recapture that moment again and again in my display in my detoff and you know with with my collection this is an absolute home run wired cape wired hood uh wired uh you know tunic or whatever they got there with the little uh you know um, fabric hanging off over there. The you're talking about the tailoring is better. It's a DX. We got a new head sculpt. We got rolling eyes function. We get a dark trooper that lights up, baby. We get Grogu. We didn't even talk about Grogu. Are you kidding me? This is they could give me Frog Lady tomorrow, but it'd be jumping for joy over Frog Lady. If they would have released Frog Lady before releasing Boba and the Throne and Luke, I probably wouldn't be excited. But now I'll be excited. They could give me. They could they could give me the pit droid. They could just release pit droids <laughs> tomorrow. I would be like, what pit droids? Let's do another live stream. That's my yeah. thought on this. Give me your thoughts, your closing thoughts. Uh, I mean, it's fantastic. I'm I'm happy with this uh announcement. Uh I, I think it, it is a good call. Uh, I think it's gonna be improvements on the head scope. I think it's gonna be improvements of all the things. Maybe we're gonna see some lighter feature on the on the bust of the dark troopers. You know, this is this is a really good figure. It was overdue, to be honest with you. We should have got this a while a while ago. Um, you know, from the details on the head sculpt, the paint application, the, the details on the suit, the fact that we probably have a new body, we don't have the suit inside, so it will have more articulation. I, I, I'm I'm happy with this. You know, honestly, I, I'm very happy with this release. Um, I can wait. I can wait for 2022. Uh, I just want to answer my friend Will. Uh, Will asked me, is Clone Wars Obi-Wan this year? Based on the sources that I have, it's going to be announced this year. So it, it is coming as well. And hey, I have to kind of give credit to my source because he's been right all this time. I'm just sharing. You know, I can't mention the name because obviously does, I can't. But, you know, he, he's been really on point on the on the, on the the predictions and stuff coming out. So... Uh, if you are, and I know this is Star Wars related, and Aries, I'm sorry, I'm just going to say this real quick. Um, for Marvel fans, uh, Thanos should be this week. Uh, I'm not sure if, today's Monday, right? Pro I don't know if it's going to be Tuesday or Friday, but it's going gonna, it's gonna to be this this week. And Hulk should be, Professor Hulk should be next. That's it. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, wow, this is just... Uh, um. Are you kidding me? I'm just getting this now. Are you kidding me? It's Pop6 also saying uh, 149 likes, 149 in the chat. Man, I, is this true? Can someone, um, I'm trying to click this here. Uh, is this true? Yeah, we have to We have to look at this. And 142 people. No. Well, yeah, but Ray Rise of Skywalker is not in stock at Sideshow. 
are you kidding me? Did that finally happen? I mean, I, we've been predicting it um, for a while. Let's actually just go look real quick. Did that actually hit waitlist? Or is that just a glitch? No, add, add to cart. It says add to cart. I'm going to buy five of them right now. I'm going to be a Fabio for just five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know it's yeah, close. So I do see an ad for cart, but I'm telling you right now, those figures are close, baby. Yeah. Those figures are are uh, absolutely close. Um, yeah, yeah, it's it's going to be really, really interesting. But that would be interesting if it wasn't in stock, single songwriter, and now it's back in stock. Maybe that's our first alert. That's our first warning, Dante, to keep an eye on that over the next week, and probably Kylo too, right? Probably. I mean, we we we'll be talking about. I mean, you'll be talking about this more than I do about uh, the possibility of these guys. Being out of stock sooner rather than later, but you know, um, they didn't ma they didn't make much of this. Yeah, no, and, they didn't. They didn't. They, they didn't make much of this. But the, um, these figures are actually pretty good. Both of couple, them. Couple things here. Uh, so definitely, you know, um, you know, both Dante and I have uh, insider uh, memberships on the thing. I know from mine that uh, if any of you are interested in some heightened analysis or some expanded thoughts and on the market value chart and some extra things you uh, you may want to consider if you're interested in that type of thing. Um, you know, uh, clicking on the join button at Six Scale Cantina and checking out what it comes with. And if you're interested in any of that, you may want to consider it. I know, Dante, you add that as well. Yes, I do. I have memberships as well. Uh, actually, all my Six Scale and Filter shows are pre premiering uh, first for members, uh, then for the whole planet. Um, the six gallon filter show is coming. Uh, my friend Easy, unfortunately, he's sick, so we couldn't do anything because you know he needs to. He's actually working. I have to give to that guy. He he's really good, uh, um, man. And uh, I hope he gets better. Easy, if you're watching this, you know, hopefully you get better soon, my friend. Uh, that one is hopefully coming. I don't know if it's gonna be this week. To be honest, guys, probably next week. But right now, what I have is the um, figure preview of. Um, Luke Skywalker, Mandalorian Skywalker. So please check it out. Uh, you know, share. If you want to become a member of the channel, by all means, you can. Just become a member of the Facebook group as well, Six Scale Media. So everything is my in my page. I don't know if, if you put anything uh, on on the description, but you know, I think I'm on. on, on uh, I'll add areas. you to the description at the uh, at, at the end. I, yeah, I didn't yeah. know. You know, uh, it was just going to be live and raw with me. I it was great having everybody in. Sometimes I do that with live and raw, and I was like, Friday's show was canceled, so I had everybody in yesterday. And so great having you in here to talk this right. off. I'm so glad you pumped. Yeah, you came in. I'm so I am so pumped up with this release. Yes, and also before I forget, Friday we're gonna have. The live stream on my yes. channel and we, we're gonna have aries as well we're gonna have a conversation about luke skywalker obviously and anything else that happens from now until friday so stay tuned for that one and we have a guest a couple guests which we're going to be announcing in the next upcoming days for sure and and real quick with 140 in here some of you uh maybe it, some of you have asked me about this so i'm just going to go ahead and bring it up really quick if you're interested in the official uh the six scale cantina coffee mug baby I got the link in the video description below. Uh, there's another Zazzle, you know, saver thing. You can go look at that on there. I also got it at sixscalecantina.com. Just go right to Six Scale Cantina, click on it, and uh, I don't know. They have 11 ounce and a 15 ounce. So <laughs> go, go drink your coffee, baby. Um, yeah, but uh, I, I cannot believe this Luke release. So, um, Dante, this has been a lot of fun. I could talk about yeah, it all fun. night. Coffee spilling. I'm sure we're going to be talking about this all week. I will be coming out with a video with a market outlook edition or a hot toys talk. We haven't done hot toys talk, everybody, in a long, long time. So I'm going to go ahead and do a hot toys talk. It'll probably come out Thursday morning. And we're going to talk a whole lot more about this Luke Skywalker. I am telling you, I, I am not going to stop talking about this. Remember how uh, don't think this is the last that you're going to hear um, this from Aries to talk about this particular figure. It is a um, it it is an I, I, this is the this is I, I'm speechless. I'm still speechless. I, I I just that's why I'm on live tonight. I changed my schedule, baby. So look for more thoughts on this when I get to soak in more and I get to really dive into this uh, 
Dante, I'm I'm going to I'm going to put out a Hot Toys talk edition, probably a little bit of market stuff, how this impacts the market. How is this going to impact the return of the Jedi figures? I have a lot of trending detail that I could go into about that. How is this going to affect the R2D2 within the secondary market? You know you want to come to your source, the Dark Jedi, Ares Territon, who serves up all the Star Wars Hot Toys talk. I promise you all, I'm going to get into all of that. You can look for that video on Thursday morning. I'll be releasing it. We'll be talking about Luke. Luke will be on the banner. We'll be talking about R2-D2 implications in the secondary market, Return of the Jedi Luke implications, how this is going to affect other Mandalorian figures. Look for it this week, baby. So I'm, I'm, I'm pumped up, but let me go ahead and uh, I got to do this. I don't always. I don't always buy coffee out. But what I do, I buy from Six Scale Cantina. Mm. Stay thirsty, my friends. See ya. A lot of fun tonight. <clears throat>